Shit, I'm ready, ready for it. We ready for it. Make sure you're talking to the microphone. I am. Right oh, there. Mike got it. You ready for it, Mike? I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, hey, welcome to another episode, hey, baby. Act like you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, let me tell you what, what it is. is. This no. is the Smoking Permitted no. Podcast. No. We is up in there one more time. You know I'm pretty sure this is episode number one and a dime. Okay, then, one more time, one and a dime. This one ten, if you're slow in the mind. You I can ride every me. time, Boys. but I ain't gonna keep on. Boys. Um, We in this thing, baby. We appreciate y'all rocking with us. Thank you. How y'all rocking with us? Hey, Bob, tell them how to get in touch. Tell them my phone number, Bob. 256-788-7339. Call us. Ask the smokers at gmail.com. Email us. Like, comment, subscribe. All this uh, shit. Hit the notification yeah. bell. Uh, share that bitch. And then, nah, don't Tell your nobody. friend to tell their friend. About. To tell their mama. Yeah. What the fuck we doing over here. Not. Never mind, cause she know. Never mind. Yeah, talk to people about it and tell them what to do. We are the smokers. This is the Smoker Permitted Podcast. Google us. We are the only ones. Ain't, no Ain't nobody else doing it. Be. Spotify, it's YouTube, uh, Google Podcasts. Uh, just you know how you find shit. Do the shit you be doing to find the shit, and you'll find us, and we'll be here. Goddamn. Check this out. They already found us because they here, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I just thought about it. They know where we at. Ah. They here. <laughs> hey. We back in the building. What's happening? You in this motherfucker, man? I can't call it, man. Shit. All right, to my right. Oh, I was. I, that's, I ain't know. Yeah, I thought you were asking. No, what you was asking. We did the three man weave, and you dropped the ball. Right, Coach, I, put I, it I all on the bench. Tell you what was happening. No, no. To my right is the Honorable Reverend Cato Jackson. How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? We appreciate y'all joining us. Oh, you didn't say it this time. I'm hitting the applause. Oh, what's it? What I supposed to say? Hold your applause to the end. Oh shit! Yeah, Fuck fucked it. it up. Fuck it. I'm, I'm accepting all applauses. It's to my left. Is a special guest that special has joined guest. us once again. I did. Hopefully, many more times this will happen and you will keep seeing our friend. We got Tamisha in the building. Misha. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you for being back. <laughs> we in this motherfucker. In the in the important area of the room. Man, all right. The, the, shit, <laughs> the wheel room. That's the wheel room. The engine the room. The no liquids allowed area. The, uh, what's the, the mechanical room they be the having in the store? Room. Yeah, you got it. That's the engine room. That's the engine yeah, room. The injury, right. only. Yeah, yeah. We got motherfucking off white, Mike. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's me. I ain't white, man. I'm off white. And I'm Bob Jacquez, bitch. You be hitting the buttons hard as hell. Right. Yeah. Be d- d- man, it off. Shit. We in here. 110, goddamn. Cheese. 110. Yeah, Jesus 110. Fucking shit. <laughs> Y'all, y'all better appreciate this. This is this a lot of work, goddamn. One, t- what you did, one hundred and ten weekends in a row. Shit, nothing. What? Farted. Dang, I didn't even think about that. One hundred and ten weekends that's in a, a row. Of that in is a, a lot row. of weekends. Ain't no weekends. In a row. That's crazy because it's fifty two weeks mic. in a year. Pineapple. It's fifty <laughs> fifty two weeks in a year. Yeah. So one hundred and ten weekends. That's crazy. That's a lot. That's a lot. We've been in this motherfucker for that minute. That's a lot. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And we the- got more than just the show. Go Man, check out the special right. sessions. Go check out the drink of the week. Go check out the. Uh, Puffer to put it out. Puffer to put it out. Goddamn. It's some garden videos up that bitch. It's going to be a duck race in that motherfucker soon. Fuck with us, goddamn. We in this hole. What's the drink of the week this week? Y'all check out my garden. We're going to make a bar. We're going to build a bar first before we start it back. (laughs) But we got enough drink of the weeks for y'all to do like five of them a day and still got 20 left. Exclusive. Like we made a mixed drink every week. Our own drink. Original shit. Yeah, this is We came up with a brand new drink every week. Every week. And we give you the ingredients. You see what we using. We see how we mixed it, and then you could try it yourself. We even so give reviews. So with this rum, what do you recommend? Um, the rum. go-to is always the old. You fashion. can't go wrong, wrong, rum, rum, rum and coke. Yeah, rum can't and coke. That's true. I was finna try to warm and sell them up because I heard I put a little lime put in mine. Them up in there too. Put a little up. lime in there with the rum. I can see coke with it. Maybe apple juice. I like for me with rum. I like well. A lot of people don't like root beer. I like root beer. So or cherry Dr that. Pepper. Cherry Dr Pepper sounds Dr. like it's it make sense. But that rum sweet roll. as hell, really. It is a little sweet, but the cherry Dr Pepper go good with the rum, though. In my experience, what about regular Dr Pepper? Rum, okay, then that was spicy. It wasn't this one. I don't know about the regular. Dr. I like the cherry or better. Dr Pepper vanilla. I invented cherry Dr what Pepper. I just didn't get the credit for. What it. was it, Dr Pepper and something else that we mixed? We, we had a drink of the week with the Dr. Corona. Corona. No, the De Serona. De Serona. De Serona oh, with the little Corona. ball. Oh, I had some De Serona. That stuff is smooth. De Serona and amazing. Corona taste like Dr Pepper. I won't mix yeah. it with no beer, but it tastes like wild. Dr Pepper. I couldn't mix it with beer. Like that wasn't, just like was, Dr we Pepper. Did, we didn't. That's the only time we used the beer on a drink of the week, but it worked. 
This shit it's, it's a good drink though. It, it definitely go down smooth. I like it. it y'all did the, y'all did the silver or you did the gold? The gold. You did the gold. Oh, yeah. See, I had the silver. Oh, I can't miss it. I didn't know I it was silver. Uh, yeah, it's two of them. What's the name of it? What's the name of the drink of the week? Shit, what Ooh. was that one? Yeah, I ain't, I don't y'all know. gotta go look this shit up. We don't. Yeah, it's a whole <laughs> playlist. Go to our YouTube. Do it on your TV, on your tablet, on your phone, on your kids' tablet because they in trouble. You took it from Dr. them. Pepper? Goddamn. Well, ain't no telling. It, it could have been a drunk you know, Dr. I can't Pepper. remember because I was horrible with the names. Man, all right. yeah, I yeah, I don't remember. remember. Look, well, I thought our three, four suggestions that I knew wasn't. No. But it's a suggestion though But yeah Drink of the week Go look at our YouTube Look at the playlist It's a lot of shit For you to goddamn check out Hey it is We in this bitch We in this bitch Mike We in this bitch How you been since I seen you last man Man if you had to take one guess Of what I did In my past <laughs> week with, with Man okay Alright I would I got Whatever's in my pocket <laughs> Say I had a couple of sessions mm-hmm. I keep back And I cooled it Yep Shit, maybe that's about it. Eh? No, he went to Got school. Got ready for school? School started yet? <laughs> it started? Yeah, yeah, you guaranteed it. Yeah. Okay, then. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I ain't know it started yet. I thought we were still waiting on it to start. <laughs> nah, nah, that's about it, though. Um, Got uh, did my submission for uh, Blast Library. Okay, then. Got accepted to that for okay, South Okay, then. So, what was that? Uh, Blast. I showed you this shit. The Blast Library is where um, they catalog different artists and musicians from this area. Okay. Uh, the actual library here, you can find it. Like, yeah, Huntsville Public uh, Library got like yeah, Madison County service, and all yeah. this stuff. Yeah. Oh shit! All right. So got got. So I can uh, take my kids to the library. Shit. I told you about this shit. I don't remember. You know I be remembering. Man, shit. I hate. You should know that. <laughs> I don't be remembering shit. <laughs> Yeah, Uh-oh. but but other than that, it's not really much. That's about it, man. He hit it, hit the uh, on, on the nail on the head with just cooling out, relaxing when I can. Had a couple sessions, um, wrote a couple little verses and stuff. Okay, worked on some music. Did you get the decorations cool. up? Y'all scrape. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, finish yeah, the decorations. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I meant yeah. to yeah. ask you that shit. Yeah. Yeah. How much was the, one For tree? Are y'all yeah, like a multiple tree, tree thing? thing? It was one tree. It was okay. just it, it was awkward and hard to get out of the box. So you know. Yeah. What what the hell? Hell? I don't because different. You know, hard. some people want an inside tree. They want a. a, a Fake tree outside, or they be doing like the fake tree that look real, or the fake tree that's just the light. Who? But I mean, all not the, us. It's yeah, a some lot of people folks might that have do two or three shit. trees. Some, Y'all like, got two or three trees. My mom, my mom used to decorate the inside of the house as much oh, as the outside. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, that's different. That's what I'm saying. I mean, but some do people that. don't do that. Yeah, some we do that. It's way more on the outside than it is on the inside. Oh yeah, my parents do both inside and outside. This is all outside. the Christmas decorations I plan on doing this year. We do inside and I do that at my house too, inside and outside. A lot. Oh yeah. You got like boxes in the garage at this Christmas. Well, I don't put I don't like garages, so I don't put them in my garage. I put them in my laundry room. But you don't I like know. garages. Hey, I have a garage. I don't like garages. I what feel like is garages. That I, feel, Wait, okay. I feel like a, I feel like a, I feel like garages are for like homes for spiders and stuff. No matter how nice you have them, I feel like they're homes for spiders. Okay. And I don't like spiders, oh, so I don't go in my fair. garage. That's like fair. my garage is empty. My car don't go in there. I mean, there's like a fence from like it's just an empty garage. Like it's it's got my old, it's got my washing machine to dry. Oh, we my doing old one from her garage Man, next week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's got, we got a new studio <laughs> coming so. It's empty. I don't use it. I don't. I don't Man, use okay. it. I don't like. It's got That's my, fair. you know, got my lawn equipment. I don't fuck in with it. spiders neither. Okay. I fuck so with I, I, you I use it to store shit. Yeah, I mean, but it ain't like when I say it's got nothing but the washing machine and dryer. The old one that I had, the lawn equipment. It's got a wall, so this stuff is hung up on the wall, so it's organized. Okay. But there's a big old Dang. bikes. It's like three bikes. How was your week? But my week was kosher. My week was good. Work, you know, yeah. work, decoration, Christmas stuff, buying Christmas gifts, wrapping Christmas oh, gifts. It was straight. Man, yeah, I ain't. It was straight. That's, That's what's it. up. That's what's up. How was I, yours? Um, it was it was real regular. I just went to work, did regular shit. Um, well, I did have a, a I had a day where I got like this goddamn plop of bad news, but well, damn, we 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 figuring it out, moving on past it. I did decide after we went and did help me out. Where did okay. we go? When when we went and did the before our last episode? Where we go before that? Earlier that day. Um, Talking about with the podcast, yeah. everything and nothing. Everything and okay, nothing. Yeah, I yeah. did after after we left everything and nothing. I decided I'm gonna Is go ahead and get them. What's that? <laughs> we had somebody so, interviewed us on the podcast. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But I decided I'm gonna go ahead and get them a tree. Uh, shout okay. Bar talk. So, bar talk. Bar yeah. talk. Yeah. Okay. I, I I did make that decision. So so that'll be coming soon. But um, yeah. Now nah, you know what you know what happened this week. I don't know, and I'm I, I wish I wish. Old girl pulled up too, so I have two females to ask this to, just because I want to know now. And I I have this theory right about 
a week and a half, two weeks. Recently, my daughter turned six. About a week and a half, two weeks before that, it was a little bit of, like, I could tell her mood. Like, even though I see her when I see her and we do do a shit, I could tell, like, okay, she's just kind of in the mood for a couple of days. Or she just, you probably sleepy. Or what you eat today? Like, I could, I'm pretty on it. These couple, like, a week and a half before, I was like, the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you just, like, you wilding, bro. Like, you wilding in school. You wilding in where I else, wherever else I hear you she being at. <laughs> yeah. And... It been a couple times where I've been like, hold on, bro, who the fuck you think I'm in? No, like, no. That ain't how we do shit around here. Right? I ain't so, nigga, you better. Um, yeah, so I'm goddamn, I'm, you know, I'm letting it be, I be trying to catch myself because I, I realize with the age difference of my two kids, sometimes I treat them too similar. And they're, one's a boy and one's a girl. Sometimes I be, I need to separate shit a little more. Yeah, so I'm yeah. like, I be trying to be conscious of all this shit. So I know I'm not tripping, right? So goddamn, then she have a birthday. The day of her birthday, I have never seen this nigga go this ham. I'm talking no. about. You would have thought she had one of your drinks. No. Do no. you the fucking the charge up? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. I'm talking about. I have never to the point that I just didn't even tell her to stop. I like, want to see where this is yeah, gonna go. It was wild. I <laughs> never ever seen it. Right. She gonna slap somebody today. Guys. Since then, she ain't stopped. It ain't. I've been getting reports from school, and she the one. I don't gotta worry. Like. Every now and then she get mad she don't get away. The teacher be like, yeah, she great, she great. Just every now and then she'll get a little bit of an attitude. And she, so she don't want to turn like, six and like, fuck the world. Fuck. All right. So I, my theory I'm six, I don't give a is, fuck about yeah, nothing. Like, like, you right, talking about? Like, yeah, off the porch now. Like, <laughs> so now my theory is that she's had her first like flush of estrogen. Now, I'm not a doctor and that's probably not how they would say it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. But I theorize that at different stages of your life, especially as you're maturing, yeah. as you're growing from child to adult, yeah. the hormones that are developing in your body or the amount that you have becomes more and more as you get older, right? Makes sense. So I don't know how much you get at once or when you get them hoes. She got all of it. I think so. Who the she hell left the day though? I think so. <laughs> I think right. that's what's happening. All right. All right. Did you have you remember being young? Did your daughter have a mom? Is there like can does that make well, sense? Well I tell you it's gonna get worse. I, to I, it's gonna get worse. I know. It's gonna get way worse. That's like, why Gabby, I'm worried. Gabby was all when sixth grade old. Oh, she's so cute. Gabby got all this energy. Boy, when she hit that twelve shoot that nine when they get that cycle Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, I got a niece. She just got, she got better this year. Last year, boy, I wanted to wash her mouth that was soap twenty times. Right, it came through. (laughs) But last year, she was on one at her mouth. I was like, girl, who house you think you stay in? I was like, girl, you ain't girl. What you doing, boy? Me and Gabby had some time, like, but this year she done, she done been good. She didn't have, she ain't got no more issues. She had no nothing knock on wood. She ain't no no issues. She driving and everything. But before, boy, me and Gabby, we was bumping heads. I, had to, I, I, like, I had to like say something daddy. to her twice this week. I would get messages from a teacher. I be, after I talked to her, she I had to, I got I had to get her for school early the other day. After I talked to her, we at the house by herself. I done talked to her two, three times. Like, I'm not letting it go. Like, every time I walk by the room, like, and another thing, goddamn. <laughs> so I'm I'm trying to goddamn put this in her brain. Like, nah, we can't keep doing this shit. Her, her brother get home. Ain't been there for 30 minutes. He t- he says he didn't want to do something. And I just happen to be coming around the corner. Boy, she about to haul off on his ass. Yeah, she don't, punch she don't care nothing about what you talking face about. Change. Yeah. She look like a bulldog in the face. Nigga, say there. what? He ain't going to do what? This tall off the ground. Shit, about to, all right. Huh. I just happened to catch her right before she... She was caught back already. Right before she... I was like, no. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm worried. That's been my week. That's been My week has been like... You can already? Real. I told you. I don't believe in like jinx and shit. So I feel like you can say what you want. And I love your daughter. But she going to jail. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I, I'd have told I, you before. Like, a, look, I don't want to say that, that shit for even, real. This stuff like, don't even tell people that worries me about her. She ready, when, and then she, she was like... He was talking to me. He was talking to me. He was like... He was talking about cartoon anime. She was like... Took the headphone out. You talking about me? What you say? <laughs> he was like, he was like, what? I said, no. He said, no. She said, 
So why this thing won't fit in my ear? Why I won't say in my ear? I'm like, okay, nice change Jeez, subject. Man, you know, right. hey, okay. Hey, what? Okay. This nigga been not been in said. Right. Yeah, I got my hair full out there. Right. I got like, oh, my hair okay. full. That's why well, I said you, you said you, three. I said don't do that. You talk about me? <laughs> what? Yeah. Jeez. Y'all better not yeah, say yeah, shit. That was, that was my week. That's what happened. Right. I got a bunch of bad news one day, and the day before that and after that, my daughter been fucking wild in this school. <laughs> yeah. That's what. That's what my week been like. And I ain't even have so I got to goddamn go around shit. To Tell her to get her shit right, boy. It been it's been hell, but yay, Fun times. kids. Right, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> what what that was cool. like? Shit, I had a pretty mundane week. I ain't do shit. I went to work right. for real. You sound disappointed. You said mundane. I don't right. like yeah, it. Yeah, like you had hit that polo sale. It's been boring. They had a polo sale this nah, week. Nah, you ain't posting no, no, great pictures. polo sale. I got an email about it. Oh, I, what see, happened no. with the coat? What coat? What happened? What coat? The polo coat. I ain't buy it. What you mean? I, no. Is that what it is? You were thinking about that this week? No, no. They had a sale. No. They had that. Because no. I, I kept getting mad. They're like, the we, sales have a, they be they have, we have a 40 to 70% off sale. And I was like, is it really though? No, yeah, I'm finna put you up on game. Is it really? Because it ain't. I mean, it is, but it ain't. It ain't. So, it ain't. But it is. 40% at the same time. Off of something that's $200 is nothing. But at the same time, so this is what they do. 20. You join their little club or whatever. And they send you a coupon every week or uh, every two weeks. It's like eighty dollars off. With one expire, with one expire, taxes. they send you another one. So you got a thirty percent coupon. You go to the fucking polo store. Everything in the store all the time is twenty five percent off. Which means this shit ain't really twenty five percent off. This is what this shit costs for real. Mm-hmm. You put a bigger number on this motherfucker, and but this is what off. it costs mm-hmm. for real. Because if it's twenty five percent off all the time, then this is what the fuck it costs. So it's always a sale, but it's really never a fucking sale that's, for but real. That's right? everywhere though. Every, so, everywhere without sales or with sales, they all do that shit. So you got to know. When you go to places like with name brand places, it's different because you expect that sale to be a sale. Why? So you could go because, in there. So you can go in there and get shit on sale. No, there's no such thing. If you join the club, I'm in and the you, club. And you go to and the I store. I haven't got nothing. The shit, to, well, at least fifty percent off all the time. I've got some. No I, 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 done, I done got Cam a nice polo jogger, jogger uh, uh, sweatsuit, uh, color block sweatsuit. I done got him a, quite a few polo shirts with a good sale. But I do it online because when I go inside the actual store in Tennessee, there's never nothing there. Oh, that I it don't be a lot of shit. It's nothing there. It don't be a lot of shit. It's nothing So when I go online and do it, oh, I'm hitting like the first. I hit the little three lines, the little. But, yeah, but that's the the sale item. Right now, online is forty percent. Be the actual store, and maybe I don't know if Nike's still talking about doing this. How they was telling you remember they was talking about they was going to have their own stores and take their shoes, all their shoes out of all. Oh, they do yeah. have their own stores. So I mean, but nah, before they they were talking about doing a new one where. Like, but I, yeah, I don't. Shit, I don't go think Foot Locker got Nikes no more. I don't know. No nah, shit, they all in the mall. They in there. They in there now. Yeah, but they, they did say they was they taking this shit out. But I know like the Jordans before, came out. They, they, out. they don't got Jordans they, no more. They uh, outlets and shit because they have had. We just talking about there been Nike stores, but they them stores always Jordans. suck. The, the Reebok stores suck. The Nike stores. Yeah, suck. All, all them yeah, stores yeah, always suck. But Nike do got Jordans because they got they got a twi- they had a twi- they, or they still do have a twenty five percent off coupon using Celebrate if you order on Nike dot com. This ain't no ad for Nike. Fuck that shit. But then the polo shit though. They got a whole lot of shit out. Sale. The, the I on, my Nike the on sale. Just tell us. Don't tell them. <laughs> the shit that's online, you can take your phone in there and they'll order the shit in the store yeah. at the price you will get it in the store. Why not Everybody just order it online? Because then you get, if you in the store and, and you got your coupon. You got and if they got the item in the store. No, no. they'll order it to the store. And if you get 60% off, it off, yeah, you got to go back. Oh. But if you get 60% off. Percent? Just no, but it. most of the time it ain't no fucking discounts online. It, uh, it's online, what I'm saying. You online go, is where I get my no, discounts. Hold on, hold on. Right wait, now wait, wait, it wait, is. Wait, wait, right wait, now wait. it is. Wait, this is what he's saying is if you go there and then go back, you save an extra thirty percent, right? Go there if, and go back. If you got a if you got a discount <laughs> online, most of the time the shit online is what it, the number is say on there. But right when now they get, got like 40 50 percent off right then. And then well, you I got that polo that polo jumpsuit for like. Thirty dollars, the pants and the, and the jacket. Did you? Hell I ain't yeah. never seen one, but I, my, all yeah. my clothes be big as hell, so it be he, I shop uh, in a different department. Though, he, so I get them, in, I get them true. a medium men's size. So, but it was good. It was. Yeah. I mean, they but be yeah, have, you, they you be can find some up. good deals though. Goddamn. They do have one, but all I, I that's all I buy now. Shit, I was just making sure I didn't want you to be. I was gonna tell you just get the motherfucker. I mean, that's what it was. I think I'm just no, but that ain't that ain't. I ain't upset about it. No, I ain't upset about it. Ross had a lot of their drawers on sale. I don't know what happened. They had a big a big increase or something. 
we talked about it. A big load of drugs. We did last week, but this Diddy week, did I went to, uh, I went I mean, to Ross okay. this week. They had a whole crap load of like, but they only had XL, 2XL, and 3XL draws. They didn't have no regular medium smalls, but that, that's the only size they had the draws. That was like $20 for three packs. So regular is medium and small? No, they didn't have regular. <laughs> no, they, they didn't have regular. <laughs> no, they, you said regular medium. I knew that was going mean. to They didn't have regular. So they, the 3XL ain't no, regular. No, they had 2XL, 3XL. They had extra large, but they didn't have like regular, like regular large. They didn't have regular. They didn't have medium. They didn't have small. They was literally 2XL. Double down on XL, the regular too, right? Double XL. So it was it. They didn't have regular. My irregular draws in there, goddamn. It ain't irregular because. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's not, did already. No, it's son, not regular, they irregular. My son, like, mm-hmm. certain draw, like, Ethica, he got to wear extra large. He can't wear large. Yeah, because they're so, tight. They're tight. So he got to wear extra large. Or yeah, I'm why are you buying them ball tights? I'm not wearing well, them. I'm not. Because they the flashy. I know. I'm, I'm not wearing this shit. They young. They wear Ethica because they wear PSD. So I got to give him an extra large or 1X in them draws. PSD, you know what I mean? I don't know. I know what Hanes is. Yes, these are draws like Ethicas. I will oh, fucking okay. Hanes. Oh, the no, that's they like Ethicas. They like another brand like some old tights, some kind of compression shit. Yeah, no, they, they ain't no mean, seeing they, that. You so know, draws know with all them designs on. Uh, what's the name? Oh. Uh, Future. All them got lines. Cam Newton. They all got lines at them at them underwears. Has there been a design or a picture that you was like, no, you can't wear that on your ass? Oh my son, yeah. What, the what weed, the weed plant ones. But oh, it's crazy. You a hater, it's bro. Real. You a hater. Bro, like he, did oh, hey. he did school, so yeah. he wears he wears whole and pants. So they gotta have they gotta have they, they gotta have their <laughs> skin covered. So he wears pants with holes in it. So if he wears his ethical draws, they're long. But I can't let him go to school with the the weed plant on his yeah. You come draw, home, man. showing through the holes. Yeah. But I don't got him like Bay- like they shit. got Baywatch half naked women on draw on some of them, and I let yeah. him do that. But the weed oh plant, the titties could show, but the weed. I, I can't do it because I ain't got time to get caught for that. I feel like, like the titties should get you sent home. Too. It won't. It don't. It don't. No. It don't because he don't wear them. They, he got roses. He got right. Benjamins. He got. Okay. But yeah. weed plants will get you sent home. He no. don't. Even, I don't even get him shirts like with the weed plants will get you sent home. This is cannabis, woman. We make ropes out of this and t-shirts. Nah. All kind of shit. Yeah. Him. That's true. Yeah. But that that will get them sent home. Other things, nah. Naked, half naked women, okay. grim reapers. That stuff won't get them sent home, but. Put a weed plant on it on his That's clothes. Good to know. Hey, they'll send them home. I wore some weed shirts to school. I ain't never wore no weed. Some Bob Marley shirts. Yeah, well, they had weed all over Bob, the bitch. But they I were was, like colorful. Yeah. They were colorful. So one was just white and green. Plus, we was in a college. We was in a college. So what they gonna tell? No, you? I did. I did it at Grissom too. When did you go to Grissom? Ah, Grissom, a couple different. Years. They can't you say nothing to, to you at Grissom. Grissom. A couple years Before, after I left New Century. Oh, you left New Century. Shut up. All right, this is what we doing. This is what we doing. A nigga can get away. So what we talking about, Chris? We ain't gonna do that. You ain't got the squad with you. We not doing that. We not doing that at all. You left. No, we not doing that. What we getting to? A nigga could get away with some I shit. I thought we graduated together. Why you say that? I'm just saying they be scared to say something to niggas. I didn't know how many people were scared of me till I left. <laughs> okay. it, was, it was hella bitches that wanted to fuck me and hella dudes that were scared of me. I used to with just one girl. What you talking about, bro? I used to sell weed in Grizzly Park a lot. Well, still, I mean, a couple people still tried girl. to fuck me, though. But that would have been cheating. It would have been had I done it. But, but it's you not did. That, Y'all was a cute try. little couple. They think she got kids now, you got kids now. Y'all could have had kids together. Yeah, I'm good. But great. Woohoo! Uh, everybody <laughs> got kids. Um, <laughs> What we getting to? Shit, whatever the hell. Stop listening to her. Ah. Shit, I guess we got a clip, don't we? I'll wait, Mike. What we oh, working with right. over we there? We got a clip. We got a clip. We got some shit going down. We want to see what y'all think about it. We going to tell y'all what we think about it. Because that's what, like, we be doing. Shit. We do do that, don't we? Yeah. That's why. Like, we back to do it again, y'all. And our opinion matter. Like we a don't. motherfucker. We all do, because we all got opinions. And that shit matter. Not for real, but. Yeah. I don't know. One of my favorite What's sayings the clip about was always, them? everybody got, but my old track coach Everybody used to say, got opinions, but everybody got a booty mm, hole. Uh, he's, guys, opinions are like assholes. Everybody got, everybody one. got one and they all stink. Okay. And he be sitting on the bleachers and he had a big ass belly. He had diabetes. I ain't noticed for a while. That's oh, why okay. belly, he used to inject himself with the insulin on the, on the goddamn bus. <laughs> he sit there like this with his hands on his belly. They just be oh, sitting one right of them. on top of One of them. Guys, opinions are like assholes. All right. Are right, you right, my boy? Right. Yeah. Everybody's don't stink. I hope uh, not. I don't know. I mean, it's an asshole, so. I... No opinions. Oh, oh, I thought we said ass. It's not the ass. Oh, no. I hope not. You got to have an opinion. Okay, so. Oh, shit. Right. The, what we got? The clip I got is about a teacher going viral for recording a phone call with a parent to show how some parents don't care to fix. I hope oh, you said shit. that boy with, that, with the student on the phone who was like, 
in mm, the class. Okay, I ain't heard this. It better not been that. Let's, been let's see what it is. Yeah, I know who this is. What's, what's going on? Hey, I was calling because I'm having a, a little bit of an issue out of your son today. He is yeah. not wanting to sit down in his seat, and he will not stop talking. So oh I was. Oh my god, I thought he was sick. Um, so y'all don't handle it. Well, usually we use our behavior management system, which requires for us to call the parent if the behavior is getting. Don't seem like it's really managing it. If you, I mean, y'all can't. I'm trying to work. And I understand that, and I also am trying to work, but I want us to work together to ensure the success of your scholar. No, ma'am, I'm not trying to get smart. I just want us to work together to ensure the success of your scholar. Oh, is his name well, Skyler or is it? And therefore, he's not able to complete. You can't make him sit down. See, I don't know. I did a lot but of. I can't there. make a child do anything. You disrupt the class. Why don't I remember Great. you being a yeah, bad kid? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you, I did my work and then got to talking after I did my work. I be doing shit while I was doing my work. Yeah, now nah, I'm gonna do this shit first. No, I did my work. Oh. I want to know because I had a military dad, so I don't want my daddy coming to the school. I didn't, mm. cause the first thing Miss Evelyn would do, I'm gonna call your parents, and my mom, call my, my mom, be like, "Yo, daddy gonna come up there, not me." And I'm like, "He can't. He in Korea. How he gonna come?" Well, yeah, it's, I think it's a little but, more flip, <laughs> and pretty much the fucking parent had an attitude. She did at the beginning. The fucking teacher I called work. And told, she said, yeah. "I work. I work." And okay. That's really the point of video. Like, that's some wild shit for real. You can't be mad at the fucking teacher. No. Because, and, and then you need to fucking it's your responsibility not the fucking teacher it responsibility it is teach your kids to, to be what? right to teach your kids how to behave yeah, how to behave you just I mean it don't matter kids. if they gonna do it or not well, what is what are the teachers teaching them I mean why are you gonna sit there and disrupt the class the, the R's writing, not, reading, so they only the teach them teach. academic stuff and it has I mean, nothing to do with anything so how would like you that, feel if but, it's your kid and you're, you get you get a phone call that he disrupting class and other kids can't focus and learn because he think it's, it's cool to be a class okay. clown and joke around no, ma'am. And, and say smart stuff to the teacher how you gonna feel I feel like bitch if you at work and it's your job to deal with this trying to get smart. out then do the shit. But what about, it's, it's, it's got to be something. It's something at home <laughs> to where he so feels much, like he can do this at school. That's not true. But it's only so much that the teacher could do. And like she said, that's they true. try their behavior management system. There's only system. so much a parent can do. And if the behavior no. management system don't work, Want us to work you got to let the parents know, like, hey, the shit we can do ain't working. So ain't. you got to try some extra shit. Like, well, it sounds like she was this saying this is part of what we do for our system. So I'm reaching out to you about no, that. She said, and she Can't reached you out, that and working. then the the mother <laughs> said, "All right, that's what's up, but that don't what you need to handle that, that shit." No. That's your job so, to so let me play the back half. Of, okay, all right, all right. play the back half. We doing this like a Reddit. I like it. Man, I like it. Success of uh, your scholar. <laughs> well. I mean, what are you doing? He won't sit down and he won't stop talking. Therefore, he's not able you to complete. You can't make him sit down. Well, I can't make a child do anything. A child do anything. I can request it. I can ask it, but I can't make him do it. And so I, I'm he, wanting to work to get. Like I brought him. I see him up there to that school because y'all need to know how to handle. I thought they had teachers that know how to handle kids. I mean, if y'all can't handle, I don't. I don't know what you want me to do. She ain't, if the teacher can't handle it, the mom ain't handling it at home. It's simple as that. Yeah, now, you the, can tell the mama don't give a fuck. She don't That's care. a fair assumption. And the mother's voice and attitude definitely lends to y'all's statement. She don't but give a fuck. She don't care. This, this is what I'm offering. What are you offering? You can go one place and act a certain way. Yeah. And you can go a whole nother place and yeah. act a whole different I way. I did a lot of this shit when so, I was a kid. Yeah. Do you so, think, so, you, so, you think, so you went home and you acted like a good kid and then went to school and acted like a fool. Is that what you're telling me? But no, I I, I would do that. I act, when I was around my mama, I would Maybe. act a totally different way. And you go to I school was. and act a fool? Yeah. Yeah. And but then, my, when they called, when they told my mama, like, this is what the fuck your son doing? And your mama? My mama was like, yeah, okay, I'm finna beat your ass or something because this ain't. Thank you. Right. Yeah. She didn't right. sound like she cared because she it, sounded yeah, like she knew how right. it okay. was. But let's, let's use somebody who does care. Did, it, does, did his mom sound like she cared? His mom cared because she okay. was like, yo, you so ain't doing this in she school. She whoops his ass, and I'm not saying this is what happened theoretically. She whoops his ass, beats his ass, yells at him, he. 
yeah, that shit grounded, what? whatever. He go back to school, do the same shit. Then what? Is this because the parent's not a good parent? No, is this it's not. It's never. It's not doubting that they're this good not parents. It ain't child. saying that they're not no, a good parent. That's not saying, working with not, that child. You got to find you, out you how to do reach your else child. For that child. You got to. You got to get to that child and let them what, understand. Yo, who's what responsible for the child? The parent. Who's, who's responsible, the parent responsible for the child? During the eight hours of school? No, the it's behavior of the general. child. The not, behavior, not, it's life general. Yeah, it's the behavior of the child. When, when it's only so much a, a teacher mom. can do. Thank you. That's not their job to babysit your kid for eight hours. They're trying to teach other kids. They got 20 other students they're trying to teach to make sure they learn. It's not their and job to be their focus on that one It is. Child. Their job is to go and make sure that whatever happens in this classroom, they take care of it and make sure that these kids learn something and move on and become better humans. So you want your kid they nah, want the job. Sound, nah, they decided, like, like, I want to go do this shit. The teacher sounded like the child was interfering with the classroom. Right. But the parent, to me, acted. she kind of acted like, well, she know about it and, and why you ain't doing oh, yeah, nothing she, about she it. She know right. how to look She boy. know he bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, even if it's not that parent, even if it's a parent that is doing what, quote unquote, is the right thing, or they're teaching their child the right way to behave, especially in school, or not interrupt other people, or they didn't know this happened and they addressed it when it did and all that stuff happens and the kid still goes back and does what the fuck the kid wants to do, then what? That's the parent responsibility. You gotta leave that kid at home with the parent. It's homeschool. Yeah, like you. Yeah, you gotta you gotta take care of that. You gonna be suspended too. You gotta take care. Thank you. You go. These schools now they don't like my kids' schools. They don't tolerate that. There's none of that. If they gotta call the parent, they give you one try. After that, (laughs) after that, that's it. They not they not playing with you. They take you to case. You go to case, which is the alternative sentence to school, or you go home. Let's see. It's simple. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. T- let's say your kid stays up till ten o'clock at night after they get out of school. That's seven hours of time all together. We're not even talking about doing homework, eating food, having Play conversation. Game, Just whatever. the amount of time you have after school till bedtime is seven hours. You spent more than that in school with these adults and in this structure that we're told we have to do is necessary for so many reasons and it's the best way for your child to be integrated into society that we have to live but in. But don't you take care and of the school? Then we're the also going to say, also, y'all don't have to figure out none of the shit we can fi- we got to figure no, out. No, they're trying to figure they this shit out, out, but it's only so much they can figure out. There's only so much they can do. They got. 20 something kids they to figure this shit out teach, all day. You got two or three of these motherfuckers teach out. So, so I got, I I got a question no because I teach in schools and I teach younger kids, okay? I had a kid one time just lay down on the floor. Yeah. I can't do nothing, but no. it's an interruption. What grade is this? I don't want to disclose any information. Right. But e- e- like, even because I. But what I'm saying as a teacher, you can only do so much. I'm just saying like even then. But no, no, a parent, you're ultimately responsible for your child. The school isn't. The school is only responsible for teaching the curriculum that's at the school that you allow your kid to go to. You allow your kid to go to school. You're responsible for your child. while While your child's at the school, they're responsible for your child. Not so how they act. And, not how they act. And if if I if, if I it, ask somebody to sit down in a seat, they don't sit down. I, what am I supposed to do then as a teacher? You want, what are you supposed to do as a parent? Okay, you so that's you your child. Ask, you got to figure it out. You therapy. To this therapy. To see, see, here's the biggest problem to me is that we're not getting to these children, but uh, we're getting to it. Uh, we need to get to it before as a prevention instead of intervention. By the time it's intervention, we're too late. So, so I'm just saying as a parent, it's our job to recognize that we around these. These are our kids. We know. Do you so, want us to whoop the kid in school for you since y'all can't do y'all job at home? They used to do that. You can't you do that shit. Yeah, I got, a, I got a paddling. In school, I got two paddlings. What do you yeah. want to do? Yeah. What do you want us to do? Like, these kids, these kids, K-5. You got paddled? I got paddled one time. You got paddled? Who, me? You was too scared to get paddled. No, I didn't get paddled. I was not bad. I got yeah, you was too scared to get paddled. I was not bad. I didn't get bad until, until sh- high school. Which, shit didn't work out well. And it did. It did I mean, I didn't get bad until high school. And all you got to do is tell me my daddy coming. That's it. I'm fucking 12. Like, I don't even... I come to school sometime. Like, bitch, what you mean? Oh, no, I was It's good. a pistol in my locker. You not gonna fucking... That motherfucker hit me once and I grabbed the paddle. Like, yeah, no, nah, this ain't... No, you I'm finna good. be suspended. <laughs> like, I guess, but you not finna fucking whoop me, nigga. I think, that the, I think that the faculty and staff oh, at schools should... Figure out something different from how they go about doing things when they're problematic children. So you would rather faculty because staff handle your kids than you handle your kids at home. No, this is this is the thing too, because if you if your kids have to be taught by this school system, what choice do you have? That's like a that's like a 
rhetorical question. Like, that's I don't a, have, you, do you have a choice? You have a choice. Do you have a choice? You have a Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, all the homeschools. I was waiting for the homeschools. Everybody can't do that shit. That's great. Why it's still a choice, though. There's, no, hold on, wait, because it's not. There's, I was about to say, hold on. There's a couple reasons why everybody can't do that shit. One of the probably more important reasons, which doesn't really Nigga, you gotta go to work. the fact, is that, no, nah, some people <laughs> shouldn't be teaching their kids. <laughs> the and the kids that <laughs> fucking interrupt the school right but, there. But the, the more like important and serious point is, some people just don't have the ability to work and have that time to do what's True. needed to be done. True. And also... There are a lot of situations where there's a difference in ages in children and, and having to teach multiple curriculums under those guises would be beyond what people can handle. You just can't do that with the time that you're allotted to do it in. So there's a lot of people who really can't. They can't homeschool because they can't. If, you, if you I'm you a single at, parent. Look, if, you look, uh-uh. I'm a, if you look at a school, that shit look just like a jail. Mm-hmm. This shit all part of the system. Yeah. If you let the system raise your motherfucking kids, your system, your kids gonna be in the fucking system for the rest of their life for real. That might so you you got to teach your kids that's how to true. behave when well, they. See, that's not true. For the, yeah, if you let no, the, there's a ton of kids even who with homeschool. My for, kids for did homeschool for well, three years and they were fine. Like I, they didn't need me. They did homeschool great. The, the curriculum on there is awesome. They don't need a teacher. They don't need me. They did it on their own. They passed. Great. Wonderful. But you sitting here, you want a school to raise your kids and so that you can go to work and not have to raise them yourself. Is well, no, nah, because like. you, you still have that other part of the day with your child. You still have all that other time with your child well, and the times time where they're not them, at hey, school. This is wrong. Don't do well, this. Well, again, you can. School. You could do that. You could beat them. You could punish them. You could take stuff away from them. You could yell well, at them. When they you don't do, do that shit, somebody's got to be responsible for that. If and they're that not be the old enough to be responsible exactly. for that, exactly. then you got to be responsible for that. That's the parent. That's not the teacher. Okay, let me ask this. Have you ever known anybody in your life that acted differently at school in a good way than they did outside of school? Yeah. I knew motherfuckers like, yeah, you you better not fight at school no matter what happened. Yeah, you like you at school, you gonna do this shit. When you get off the school bus, bitches, whatever, you bow it, bow it, goddamn it. But at school, you square. I knew a few motherfuckers like that. I'm just saying now. It but that's seems because like, the parent was like, "Yeah, bitch, if, if the teacher called me from your school, I'm gonna beat your ass." Right, God you get caught. No, I'm I'm not, okay, make me well, lose let, my job, right? Yeah, yeah. right. I, I'm at work. You yeah, can't yeah, be calling yeah, up yeah, here yeah, with that yeah. shit. But for and again, reason. that's why you can't homeschool sometimes. If your it's teacher called shit. me from the school, but, I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh, but the people who didn't have that, I'm not finna interrupt this motherfucking school. The people who didn't have that, and they had a parent that that wasn't like the lady on the phone. Yeah, yeah. But you still went to school did what you needed to do it's and some, it's some people out, like you, that yeah so, and that's what i'm saying like either way there not a you, lot not a whole lot I, in my opinion i think that in general because i'm just i'm just fucking with y'all like i, I mean know the that, mama real <laughs> fucked up i know like, the adult gotta be like the parent gotta do more than the teacher gonna have to do it just is what it is it's fucked up for a lot of reasons in a lot of ways because they're understaffed just like every other system that they're being prepared for yeah. but again to that point there are there are people who Use the system and it works well for there's people who yeah, need people a that, nine to five job some and, it, people and that's that are, what makes them happy and content in life. The system easy to get stuck in, goddamn it is. It is that part is true, especially for you know black kids. So that's that. Part but I think I think that that uh, teachers will cop out a lot more quickly now too than. Cause you really? can't, I'm, cause these kids bad as fuck now. For I real. think they're not willing to no, take shit now. I think they'll cop out. I think that's what it that is. They don't want to take shit now. Is what is. I wouldn't want to like. take and shit. I've, I between, couldn't be no teacher. Between though. people that I've dated, to siblings that have children, to my own, just over the last, I don't know, uh, maybe decade and a half or so. Okay, then. Like I've seen kids be little kids and little grades and go up through the I've been at schools with the teachers without to tell all the stuff, talk to the parent, all this stuff. And it ain't it ain't no different. You still gotta it's you still gotta figure out a way to deal with the children that you are responsible for while you're here at your job. But there's only so much you there's can so do to deal with do. them. And when you're a parent, there's only so much you can do. But no, it's not. When but you're a parent, you're responsible, you need to, you're responsible for everything. Teach though. your kid how to be respectful to adults. Teach your kid how to respect peers. Teach your kid how to be respectful in public, period. Because I mean, so for that real, they're not when it boils down to it, if you don't, 
your the, kid the is a reflection are not, of you. You gonna be the only one around the kids for real, right? Your <laughs> kid <laughs> is a reflection of they you. They just gonna say like, nah, the shit is a little disrespectful. That, that, I hate that too. I, that's such that's a, such a fucked up thing. You don't think that? The kids not. I don't think that. Your kid is a reflection of your environment. So if you no, no, their environment maybe, but not not individual parents. Maybe, but not individual parents. Like not because you you got a split household. No, like the shit that go on outside the door. I feel like it's as much of a fucking influence on the child. My kid can be walking inside. with me somewhere and do some shit I just said two minutes ago not to do. But so yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Yeah. None of that. That's all all that's out the window. So, I get it. There, the general I mean, like I serious. Him, you okay, yes, yeah, you supposed to teach your kid. Don't right. kick a can, and he kicks it. Okay, cool, got it. Okay, that's not something but that's. Every, don't disrespect that's an adult. Not, don't disrespect an adult. But, He's like, why you ask me that? And they like he disrespects me. Kick him out of class. Is I do. It, so. it is what it is because that's what, and the teacher will be. I, I can't but deal I with that. That's taking too much time out of my day. To blah blah blah. Parent is teaching them respect is respect is disrespecting the teacher. I, did, I didn't think I was disrespecting. I did the teacher, a whole lot of things. My parents ain't. I ain't see them do. Right. Yeah. I'm very mischievous. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I may not have cussed no teacher I out, on but I stayed in trouble. Yeah, I stayed in trouble. That that desk right outside the room. I live there. <laughs> I was in trouble, but I didn't disrespect. I was in trouble, but I didn't disrespect my teacher. I didn't disrespect the the principal. I didn't disrespect people because my parents taught me that. But I was in trouble. That's not saying you can't get in trouble and not be respectful. So it depends on what type of trouble you get in. That's gonna waver yeah, on I mean, how you, you talking. You talking in class. All that's that's not saying that you was raised raised in a disrespectful household. Saying you raised in a disrespectful is when you see your cousin and teacher out telling them fuck okay. you. What, giving what's them not fingers, disrespectful to about not adhering to the teacher's rule or or command or that's disrespectful request. but that's because you're choosing to not do that because you're right. not around so, your and parents and that's the main but, thing but you might it, not be around your parents you could be around your parents and still choose to, to fuck off you think your kid is gonna choose to fuck off in front well yeah not they, like they that do. not like they do they I mean, do yeah it's shit I mean, they'll do like I, I know, just said it's shit they'll do they do you know what I'm saying you're right they'll be comfortable enough to be like yeah like if you don't if you ain't worried about a repercussion or repercussions aren't something that move you or matter to you, then your behavior... Well, those are usually the kids that are disrespectful to their parents, like, fuck you, mom. Yeah, the, like, the, you know your usually, parents ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, you gonna do exactly really what the kids. fuck you want. But, and that's why I did... I know, but I, I, I got, got in a lot of trouble, age, and I still got in a lot of trouble. I got in a lot of trouble at home. Once I got to a certain age, mouth, I knew, really? like, oh, she ain't doing shit no more. Oh uh, yeah, that do, wasn't how I it was. I could do whatever me. the fuck I wanted to do. And I was that. still in trouble but you in got school a smart and mouth. you got a slick you It's got a, a truthful mouth. But it's you not got a, smart a passive mouth. aggressive smart mouth with a whole adult, a black woman at that. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Of course she's gonna for? be like what is, I Of course she's gonna be lot. like Okay you you a bad motherfucker Shut the fuck up <laughs> Like you need an ass whooping Times three Why can't I talk to you like you talk to me? Why the fuck would you talk to your mama the way Why it's your mama? So I'm a human. She a human. We humans. What's but up? But she had you. You don't disrespect. I didn't make her do that shit. You're right. You didn't. But you don't disrespect. I ain't got nothing to do with it. No matter what you go, <laughs> literally, through, you don't disrespect the person who gave birth to you. Whether they're there, they're, you they're there for you or anybody. not, you can't anybody. But as a person, you don't want to because you know what you said. You spend that time thinking about damn. If something happens to them when they pass away, you're like damn, I fucked up. I could have treated them better. Yeah, they did this shit to me. I yeah, do. yeah, I grew up I, like this, but I could have treated them better. I, I, I understand what you're saying, but if my mom or my dad is, whoever the fuck it is, I'm going to give you the exact same energy you're going to get of me for real. So if you're disrespectful it's, to me. Especially once I realized. Yeah. Like, once that moment hit, that was like, nah, you now you grown, grown. Yeah. That was no, it's so, but that it's was the age thing, though. That was when you got like oh, up. So, yeah. But that wasn't when you were like, you know, 15, 16. But that was yeah. only because yeah. Yeah. the yeah. rules and the structure that was taught is you have to do this you, or else. You're right. It wasn't because I believed that that was the correct because way that people should be dog, treated or you, you realize, should be doing yo, shit. Shit's not going the right way it should be going. You know, I'm not getting this level My of respect. God. I'm not getting this respect level. I'm not getting that respect. So I'm an adult now. So, hey, yo, I'm going to voice what I need to say. As an adult, but as a child at 14, I should be able 16, to say it then too. Nigga, no. As a child, if you ain't paying no fucking bills, you be respectful. You, you shut up until you get up the, and get okay, out. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me let me digress a little bit. It I feel like you should though. be able to 
Speak your mind and have your opinion, even if the adult doesn't agree with it. And yeah. you can do that without being quote unquote disrespectful. Yeah. The oh, problem yeah. is that if you have an opinion as a child, or if you say something about how you feel and there's any emotion involved in it, then you're being disrespectful. No matter that's how valid it is. That's, true at all. that's I, how children get treated. Being disrespectful is being disrespectful. Like you, that's how children you get treated. You were disrespectful, though. Julian. Because <laughs> you, you're you, passive was, aggressive. You so, I, was so, I was very you nice. I was very nice and analytical about things. I hear you. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. But nice, nice, in a nice tone. You got a nice tone about it. All right, cool. But what you say, okay. You can absolutely. You, you can have a nice tone. But it's at an no, age. No. Like, no. When you get, mm. yeah, when you get 18, you graduate. Okay, great. You don't agree with your parents the way they raised you, the way, the way shit happened, shit went through. You don't agree with that. That's understandable. Everyone's entitled yeah. to their That's opinion, understandable when you become an adult. You got to learn how to, how to portray how the fuck you feel. Right. Without but being you, disrespectful. But the thing is, the thing about disrespect is the person who receives it is the one who gets to dictate whether it's disrespect or not. And then that Unless leaves. This is obvious disrespect for real. Tone plays That's a role. Fair. Tone, but, you're right. Now, I don't I don't fully agree with that. You don't think I don't tone think, plays a role? No, I think that different people have different tones when meaning the same or different things. So I don't think that that's yeah, no, an actuality. How you say this shit how makes, you say it is, a is world makes of a it. difference. Because you can be talking to me calm like. Tamisha, you are just the dumbest person ever. And you could say that, but that's disrespectful. But your tone is nice as fuck. Right, so tone but don't you, matter. It, it do yeah, matter. No, but it do matter. Yell, but like, you, you yell at me. Bitch, you dumb. You dumb. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's a different what conversation. You, that's what you said. And why can't I yell the same thing I say? That's a different conversation it's your tone, now. No, you can't. You but now, it. when you raise your voice, you, I feel like if you yelling, the only thing next is fighting. I thought you were going to say it. <laughs> no, we ain't gonna. I mean, I, I did I wasn't fighting no more. So yeah, so don't even do a shooting. <laughs> yeah, if we having a conversation, we should, no matter how the fuck we feel, if we trying to come to some kind of conclusion or, or, or just have a conversation, we should be able to do that shit without I, your emotions taking over this conversation. I was told a lot that I talked back when all I did was try to further the conversation. Further or argue or not argue Sometimes debate well, shit don't the need same to be thing fuzzy. well the same thing happened <laughs> the same thing happened before to my son and I'm asking him like cause I realize there's some terms that old people use that he don't know <laughs> he don't know that phrase he don't know what the fuck no. that means he be asking me like why would why did he be so I'm asking him what he knows or what he understands the shit and I realize this nigga don't know what talking back me he's been told it by people for a long time. He don't know what the fuck. So I he don't just think it. he's getting his point that. across, basically. He, no, he don't understand. Why the fuck are you saying don't talk back? Like, how we're do I talking. respond? Yeah, what, it, what, what am I saying? And then when you say that, then you being disrespectful. <laughs> no, and he ain't got like, in trouble a couple of times, and I finally figured out what the I fuck was, just was going responding on. Responding to her question, yeah, like, she, but she, I don't understand. I got yeah, you. like, I but it be shit like that. That, like I say, whoever whoever says it's disrespectful is the one that gets to decide whether it's disrespect but or not. I, it don't matter what he meant, how he meant it, how innocent, genuine, whether he was being mischievous or not. It don't matter at all. Only thing that matters is this adult said you shouldn't have done that, and that's all that matters. But do you feel that your your child really does not know that they're talking back? Oh no, he didn't. You know, nah, because that's the same shit I did. I like, mean, I really, I'm like, if you say you shouldn't be doing this because of A, B, and C, and I'm like, well, no, nah, they told me I could do A, B, and C, and you're like, don't talk back to me. No, nigga, I just I yeah, do. that's not talking that's back. Not nah, talking but back. adults I can't, adults I can't, do that. But once a I motherfucker can't. tell you like, yeah, no, nah, so this is why you can't do A, B, and C, and you be like, yeah, but no, nah, I'm gonna do A, B, that's and C. Talking but, back. Yeah, now you talking, talking back, back. goddamn it. Now you just that, arguing for real. No, that's you want that, to that, that, That's not talking. That what, okay, you I'm sorry. Right. I miss what's different. What is different in those two scenarios? See, pretty much the, the adult told you what the fuck it was. Is what it was. You got a question. You didn't why understand you why this it? is what it is. This is why this is what it is. What's the question? Now, leave it the fuck alone. Yeah. No, nah, it ain't no ask why. No, this is what it is. I already got what it is. You wrong, adult. Oh, okay, yeah. See, you don't get that option. You don't, as a kid. That's you not what I'm saying. You, you don't get that's that option. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, no. It's, it's, period. Yeah. And, and if, let's say... Because we was talking about this, and we're going to get off this. We're going to move on. We got a few more things to talk about. But if if you sitting in class and you're saying, hey, what did she say about number three? We got to do what now? No no talking. Not, not that there was no talking. That turns into you're talking and disrupting the class. 
But probably you you do that shit more than once before you talking and this. You don't have to. It's all right. You not go. The teacher's not just gonna be like. No, I can't do this one time. So he's the no, top. No, like, the teacher will do that. No, I don't believe it. it. Hold on, hold on. I feel like you, you ain't never went somewhere where somebody been at work and they been in a bad mood and did some unnecessary shit. That ain't never. You ain't never been somewhere where somebody been at work and they been in a bad mood and had shit to do with you and they did some unnecessary ass shit. Yeah. All right, cut it out. These are humans that are at work and sometimes they don't want to be there with all these motherfucking kids that they got to figure out how to do their job that they so wanted to do they with. They upset this on the kids. Yeah, fuck yeah. I mean, that's a bad teacher then. You can't that's, control that. That's a bunch of humans but is what it is. I don't, I don't think, think they so. call I mean, all I don't think they call it the motherfucker because got how many your times? kid and ask well, how to do number you. three once. How many times you been in school <laughs> and a teacher got who was in trouble wrong? And they might snitch, but whoever they said, you know, that, that wasn't even the person that did. Shit, never. No, because every shit, time that shit happened all the time. Yeah, that's what I, it was I, one of y'all. I ain't spent a whole lot of time in school. It was Drew. It was you. It yeah, was well, Carl. That it don't mean they got the right one of us. But y'all was doing something bad because y'all had did something before. They don't mean that so was the right one reason. of us though. They had a reason because y'all did it before. All right, that's still a false accusation. But it ain't because chances are it was all of y'all or one of y'all. <laughs> so no. it ain't. It we was all of y'all a, we, or one we, of y'all. We wasn't in class together no way. That, that's not story. The point, the point is a lot of teachers Drew would pick and, out the Drew wrong person. Drew and Carl was sleeping in class plenty of times. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful in class. Y'all slept in class. Think about, oh, what's, what's that teacher name? Uh, Mr... I, I don't want to say it don't matter but I don't we know did, we but good. he had he was Model extra regular class and school. everybody went there and go do to do your sleep. homework y'all uh, slept do what your teachers say unless it's something unnecessary then don't do that shit cause duh and then you're gonna be at home with your mom and daddy first you'll be at the, the desk in the, the hallway for a little while you ain't gonna be right. home with me then you'll you go to in school know? suspension <laughs> or whatever y'all call it now yeah, they call it case they call it case for us kids for my kids the case Home. Case. All right, see, you go to case. Case. Yeah, yeah cause so you get, it's even more like that. Sound the like the jail. jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they, they ah, this little nigga called case. God damn it. They sentence ah, them. So they how get many like, times you were they case? Get sentenced? Yeah, they get sentenced. So it's like, what's ah, okay. your sentence? So all like, right. Cam, homeschool your kids. In the bathroom. Homeschool your ten kids. Days. <laughs> ten days. Ten days. No in school suspension. Straight case. You called a case. Damn. Ten days. Ten days. Hey, but think about it. They've been doing it. They what we do when we was a child. What they used to have is right. I when you was not, bad, bad sentences, sentences. Yeah. we had the right sentences. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeez. I'm telling you, school is yeah. the kids going to prison. Do your best, parents, because the teachers are just going to do enough. <laughs> if the kids go to they're school, they're going to prison. That's all they got to do is enough. It's a no, shit. it's their job. They're supposed to be doing their best too, goddamn. Okay, yeah, to everybody teach your kids. Do your best. Everybody not need to do Don't their call best. me because my kid cried about spilling a drink. Everybody should do their best. Don't call me because my kid talked today and yesterday. Yeah, fuck yeah, that. No. Definitely Tell your kid to no. shut the I'm fuck up. No. Yeah. You can send me a message or something. We don't we don't got it all over the What you want me you want me to stop what I'm doing right now? I and tell you, you gonna what, keep I, doing what you doing. I tell you what, as a teacher, I just send a child home to you then. Right. You right. Well, hey, hey. Hey. All right, and now don't say that my kid need to be here neither then. And then y'all can then y'all can figure it out because clearly we ain't got it. Because if the teacher can't handle the students to the point where every day they calling people. It's not even about handling. That's wild. It's, it's not, not even about, about handling, handling man. It is. Your no. child, if your child is disrespectful, why should the teacher have to put it with them? Again, that's back to the disrespect. Interrupting other people's other education. That's back to the disrespect. You could say that a kid asking too many questions during no. the lesson is disrespectful. I don't think a teacher's going to say, nah. okay, could you ask about this? Now they do. I've it's seen that's, it. That's probably 5% of I've talked to the kids where it happens. Are I, they going to call and be like, oh, he questions. He questions no, that's not how they're going to say it. Of course not. They're going to be like, oh, he made a joke of some shit, which is probably what happened. No, of course they're going to tell a story that's going to work in their favor for their so side of joke that whatever the child told that that made a mockery of the lesson why can't it be this true i don't know it could why can't could the teacher be telling the truth bob don't fuck with the system no nah, i don't he, he don't the system, he don't he must be wrong. beefing with a teacher School. right now he got to be beefing with a teacher he got to be which one is it what teacher you want to beat up it's the system who the teacher you want to beat up now everybody in the system teacher got the god they kid is your kid in trouble but i i've taught the kid like to ninth, to, I think they're in ninth, tenth grade now. To like little kids, like even when I be out there at the playground uh, with my daughter, and the little kids be coming up to me, talking to me and stuff, and they be talking about their day or shit that happened. It'd be like, but then this happened. And it'd be half the time, it'd be some shit. I wish you. I hope you didn't tell them. You like, know, tell that yeah, teacher, fuck you. I hope you didn't tell them that. I'd be thinking it. Oh look. What's up? Oh. 
No. <laughs> All right, we moving on. Let's move on. Y'all parents, do on. do a good job with your kids. Everybody do the best they can. Everybody right. do and your best. your kids might not go to prison. <laughs> right. Yeah, I ain't got no drop for that. Real, <laughs> real. <laughs> Police coming. Uh, if I'm you not don't, goddamn it. I'm just I'm saying. I did. First time I got arrested was at school. See? <laughs> Somebody wasn't doing that. That's the best why he bad at the teachers. That's he's why speaking he on trauma. No. He's speaking on trauma. I wasn't even trauma. in class. Trauma Some, see? That's the problem. That's Worse. the problem. I wasn't supposed to be. I wasn't Somebody to be. wasn't doing the best they could. Yeah. No, I did my best. No, to not. I did my best not, to not, not punch to somebody not in the throat. I ain't, never mind. We're going to move on. Yeah. Do what you, we going to? What we talking about? Do your best to not get arrested. What we talking about? Because if not, you're going to prison. Yeah, they like throwing cuss on folks. They told me how fun, how much fun they be having. Like Young Thug. Damn, Thug. They put the cuffs on his ass. He ain't been out yet. I can't believe how much he's changed. He looks so different. I'm telling you, if you go to jail and you in there for a while, you're going to get swole or you're going to get fat. But it, our Kelly ain't be one even. Neither well, is Young Melly. Because, because Young know. Melly, YW Melly. We're talking about Young Thug, though. And Young Thug partook in a particular set of extracurriculars. That. that too The drugs will keep you skinny All right. The yeah. drugs will keep you skinny Yeah that's too. all you had to say Yeah it The will. drugs will keep and you skinny And now he's sober So they, he's gained yeah. weight Nigga yeah, he, he got fat He, he ain't got no, Ain't no lean in there Ain't no perks Yeah Ain't no Hey you know, Mariah man. still love him So that's all that matters Nigga can eat and Mariah. sleep now. Yeah Mariah the scientist yeah. His girlfriend She still love him his girlfriend right. the scientist Mariah the, the singer On the Mariah beat Mariah the scientist Oh, oh shit <laughs> <laughs> I'm old as fuck I hate it yeah. oh, This nigga was dating a scientist God damn it Like damn no, What kind of science This bitch do <laughs> This archaeologist What kind of she science is Can we get her on the show <laughs> Man, all right. This bitch got a got them t- A microscope A locked up <laughs> She got a doctorate in What she got Tell going on Tell this bitch to bring A microscope on the show We gonna look at some shit What she got Going on. Oh, some shit, <coughs> um, young thug. thug. Pull up on a nigga with my pants down. They don't. They probably don't even mean what you think it mean. I don't. Think it's it what do. he said. I bet it don't. I hope it don't. He released the whole. Nah, it's, they like, said they said it's because the gun he had was so big in his pants that he had to like pull his pants down I'd to get the gun out. Like, I, That's I, what I, I was told. I bet it don't even got nothing to do with a gun. I bet it was the Bible. It was probably something about like washing. You don't think so? I doubt Probably like washing shit. feet or something. I doubt he was telling somebody to pull up on him with the Bible. I'm well, listen. you don't know what Young Thug stands for. Listen, he released a motherfucking uh, a list of the young... You know, he got his particular own kind of language a little bit. Yeah. And all his little sayings. His dialect. I, now we know what they mean because he released a, a list of them. Like, like Swag. Swag. Okay. Someone who admires God. Amen. If you got swag, that means you admire God. Amen. <laughs> that is pretty dope. Amen. <laughs> the way he did that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. YSL. You know, them the, they said they was a gang, so, so they got the So he took the, the gang and changed. What does what, that mean now? Young soldiers of the Lord. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Ain't nobody playing. This is our shit, all right? Like, there's only a clothing line and the young soldiers young of the Lord. Young soldiers not playing with y'all. There's only those. Know why they, this is fucking like religious prosecution what he got going yeah, on Yeah, right for now. real, though. These are hate crimes. This ain't really slack. At the rate this slack. is going, it is slack. What's it say? Show love at all, at all times. times. Okay. Obviously. Matter of fact, two times, so it's two yeah. T's. Okay, so he he. The op. You see the op? I'm with my op all the time. You know what the op mean? What? Omnipresent person. A uh, over positive pal. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give me some. You my op. That's crazy. Oh, shit. So tell- they try to use his music and he done flip the shit on him. Slime. Okay. You know, they all slime. See the Lord <laughs> in me every, every day. day. Every day. Oh, every day. Fuck. Every some day. Days. Every day. Over positive pal. Oh, all right. Okay. A game. Because okay. they did say that it was a game. It was game. a game. Uh-huh. They, fuck you. Because the other the, dude. The young soldier of the, the Lord nigga who could was be. On stand, the other soldier of the Lord that took the stand was like, yeah, we a game. Yeah. What's gonna? Yeah. I don't know what his name means, but game. Um, going above normal guys. Okay. These okay. are the guys that he, go above. Yeah, no, nah, the young soldiers of the Lord are guys that go above normal yeah. guys. Yeah. Because where's the Lord at? Glock. This is the last one. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, guarding lives 
overcoming challenges. Oh, okay, then. Where the K went, where but the yeah, K right. I don't K know go. where the K went. So ain't okay, ain't Glock. Okay. Yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. Now yeah. when he raps about it. This is fucking religious prosecution. It is. At this rate, it is. They, got they gonna let him go for that. Talk. But I mean, if they go by that. This some bullshit. It's a hate crime. This some bullshit. You but can't I mean, persecute somebody. I don't somebody believe they should be able to use know. any rapper's lyrics to get some period because of the fact that it's a song. You don't know really what happened. So you can't sit there and be like, okay, he said he killed three guys in this song. So we're going to prosecute him for this shit. I don't think that should be right. That, Show this shit to the jury. That Show this shit right. to the jury. That ain't right. Especially at all. when you like just here for the Lord. Got this young right, man. Right, right. You just trial. praying, you know, trying to get other young men intact and following the Lord. You should right. be sitting there telling him, yo. Man, who the fuck you think? Who, who the <laughs> fuck? What? Who the fuck you think going Don't for this shit? Don't persecute him. Who Don't the join the judge. Who the for this shit? Don't join the judge, Kyle. Somebody believe Who the fuck you think going for this shit? Ain't nobody <laughs> buying this I shit. I believe it. Ain't nobody buying this shit. But he took a lot of right time now. to think about them, them acronyms. He, he ain't got no words. butt a lot of time. <laughs> I'm going to say, nah, uh he been in there for, I don't know, he been in there for almost two years. Okay. He ain't got, this is bullshit. He look guilty as fuck for this. He had a lot of time. He wild as hell. You think, like, he had anyone approve it? Like, his lawyers was like, okay, yeah, we'll use that one. Like, this, he gave, he wrote he gave him shit. three different YSLs. Like it was young soldier of the Lord. What was I it? never ride helped him. Um, young soldier of liberty. Okay, and like that sounds like so a racist was, movement. It does a little bit, but just, <laughs> okay. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm done. What else could YSL be? I uh, mean, you got he got a smart girlfriend. I think she probably helped him with some. Oh, of Mariah these wrote some of the bars. Mariah probably shoot. She have said, you, okay. have you heard? Yeah. Have you heard her first song? Not yeah, Mariah can rap. She a fucking scientist. She's talking about singing about loving him and staying with him while he behind bars and all this other stuff. So yeah, I think she helped. Maybe. But either way, we, we've been smart. judging this young man all wrong. And have I'm we? guilty of it myself. I haven't. Absolutely. I haven't I'm guilty all. of it. I did not know he was out here fighting so hard for the Lord. I didn't either. I, I don't even know. Why is he in there now at this point? Since he was so for the My Lord. My money way longer than a NASCAR race. They, wow. they came in his house and found like some illegal Bibles or some shit. Yeah. It was like distributing Cause they didn't, he, he was like a collector of religious memorabilia And he didn't know that some of the stuff You can't technically own in the state that he had His house He in. had some shit that would help you see God Yeah, <laughs> And they was like yeah nah, You know you can't have no ayahuasca here yeah. and like, it's, Get you know, out Get like, out it's a lot yeah. you got to do for the soldiers of the Lord. What's next after Young Thug? <laughs> I want to know about Man, what's, okay. what is Mixed Tape Man, about? Right. He wild as hell though. What Thug- is- What's Mixtape Mountain? I want to know that. Mixtape. What, what is mix? What's the name of the mountain? Mount Rushmore. Rushmore. Mixtape Mount Rushmore. What's the Mixtape Mount Rushmore? There was a picture, right? It had Jeezy, T.I. No, no. T. I., not T.I. Jeezy, Wayne. Uh, Future. Future. 50 Cent. 50. Mm. Future, Future Jeezy, Wayne, 50 Cent. They're trying to They're determine saying, you, who's the the top four mixtape artists. Oh, like artists. the president. like Yeah, yeah like Mount Rushmore. Rushmore. You get four mixtape artists. Who's the best? I feel like they might have got two of these right. Who are they got on it right now? Cheesy, Wayne, Future, and 50. I would take Future off. Um, Jeezy could stay on there. 50 could stay on there. Microphone. Yeah, Jeezy could stay on there. 50 could stay on there. Wayne can stay on there, but Future would have to come off because Future's not really a Who old. Going in place? Who you gonna put there? In place of Future, hell, I'll put somebody else. Like, you, yeah, you can put T. Jeezy on there, Lil Wayne, so you can put Ti on there. Hold microphone. The T-I you can do Ti T-I on did, there. You do a lot of mixtapes. Yeah, Ti did, like did a ton of mixtapes. I don't remember seeing a lot of Ti. Ti did a ton of mixtapes. That's why. That's what made me say Ti on accident. He did have a lot of mixtapes out, but Ti yeah. did a whole lot of mixtapes. I don't remember. I didn't. The bitches. The, who you tra- who, you changing it? You keeping it? Oh yeah, no. Nah, this shit. Yeah, Fifty got to go, and Future got to go. I knew. I knew. They both get them the fuck up out of here. Yeah. The mixtapes. Get them. F- hell no. Get them the fuck up out did of here. Did you listen to a lot of mixtapes? I I I listen to my fair share of mixtapes. Okay, Mike, so you, you got you got you changing the mountain at all? Are you keeping it? We'll see. I, I don't there. I don't know if I really listen to too many mixtapes. Yeah, uh, but I agree with Wayne. Um, I agree with Jeezy. I don't know, but I ain't heard too many of Fifty Cent mixtapes, so I can't really speak on that. So that might yeah. that might be a New York thing. Yeah, so it's, it's more yeah, up East, North, Coast. East Coast. I ain't heard them either. Um, and who was the other one? Future. Future. 
I ain't heard enough of his. He, right. he might have had a lot coming up, but I ain't I heard. Don't even think I, he had a lot coming up, did he? I don't now, know. Future's, Future's very well known for his mixtapes. I don't. Future, I don't. I couldn't tell. Um, I, I who you putting either. on there in place of him? So I, we take Future off, and we talking about mixtapes. Like how the fuck Gucci Man out on this fucking list? I well, because like they put Jeezy, and you know when they do that, it, and they already got two Atlanta people. It don't matter. Still. Like, I'm not they the not biggest, they don't I'm put the Jeezy and Gucci in the Gucci same place. Fan for real, but I'm put I'm put Gucci on there before I put Jeezy. But on his mixtapes got to be better. I don't know. I got to Gucci think about the what I mixtape king for Just real. He had a bunch they not good. They, were good. they went no, good I, I, though. They so went guess, good, but he was on but top they going of the mixtape game. Like no, he wasn't. So 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 what's the measurement? Is the amount of quality, or is it like one good one? Because if we had to say one good one, I'd just say J Cole. It's like Friday Night Lights. It's, it's like who had when mixtapes was a thing that mm. everyone was putting out a bunch of mixtapes who had a good run with good quality music. Yeah, I was Gucci was the fucking top of them. He, it wasn't the best yeah. music. He I was, can't say I, 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 I can't say Gucci had a whole lot of. Good he don't count mixtapes. if it wasn't was good the, music. Man, he don't count. It, it was. Gucci was most famous for putting out fucking mixtapes. He came out with so icy. Then he started Wayne, coming out with mixtapes with lemonade. Wayne stuff. definitely should Wayne, be on that. Like, well, yeah, I, Wayne, when I listen to mixtapes, it was say, Wayne. Yeah. It was Wayne for me. I think Wayne should say definitely. But yeah, Gucci, I, Gucci got to be on this. Bitch. I don't think he didn't make I, no good. I think there's a lot of people that were, were kind of trash to me. Yeah. I, yeah, but we didn't like it. But Gucci was the most famous at the time. But he it's was quali- famous. It's, it's quality. So I don't think so. Because if that's the case, I don't like a lot of that shit for real you know I mean like Jeezy made one good mixtape to me then for real one Trap or Die was it if you ask me Trap or Die was the only fucking one. good mixtape I ever he heard he didn't even Jesus. have to make mixtapes because his original albums shit, were great I heard one of those that was good his too. original albums were great 50 had some good mixtapes Wayne, Wayne definitely had some good mixtapes mm-hmm. Wayne, I didn't Wayne, listen to Jeezy Wayne or Gucci Wayne would probably be the, the, the president like the, yeah, the head he, of this shit for real yeah. I didn't listen to Wayne or Gucci like I mean uh, Jeezy or Gucci like I that. ain't listen or to Gucci Future. neither I listen to Gucci geez. I mean Jeezy I listen to Gucci too but Gucci his mixtapes did not like hit me like damn I want to keep playing this without fast forwarding there like, would be a song every now and then yeah that's, that's mixtape, how I was in Gucci like, with me I, I gotta fast forward but mm. you know with Wayne, no, I can listen to every song with Jeezy. I can listen to every song with Ti. It got to be somebody we missing that was doing mixtapes. Then that should be on this list. Shit, I, I feel like Currency might. If it was I five, do like Currency. Five heads. Currency and, currency and currency Wiz was oh, like yeah. after this. Well, no, because yeah. Future. Yeah. So we could put them in there. Yeah, but I, I feel like if there. it was five heads, we get Currency in one. God damn it! Not over Wiz. Yeah, or, I think so. I ain't, oh, I ain't never been a fan. Well, of currency this. has been doing the shit since Wayne with, with Wayne when when he was supposed to be the, the card two shit. and a half and all that shit. What about Freddie Gibbs? Uh, I don't think uh, as many people would give him the props, but he did have some good shit. Yeah, currency was before Freddie the Wayne shit though. He was with No Limit yeah. for a bit. Yeah, that's and true too. His brother there, yeah, his brother. Oh, you didn't a, say nothing about Starlito or Don Tripp or none. You know them, my favorite fucking artists, <laughs> but they not gonna be on this list. They definitely it. not. But Starlito was Cash it. Money. He was, yeah, for a minute. Yeah, my. If you ask me, best mixtapes to come out, Starlito put them out. But <laughs> they not gonna make the fucking mixtape Mount Rushmore. I could see Currency being the. the I could see Currency replacing Future, and uh, I could see. Gucci Jeezy, on, Jeezy's Gucci interchangeable. It could be Gucci, it could be Ti, it could be ah, oh, there's well, somebody I'm a that I'm not. Jeezy for real. Oh, we ain't named a single Houston person with the mixtapes. All the mixtapes, but who Houston, would you? Who, I, I mean, think you just got to put Houston, Houston as, as, <laughs> as Jesus, as Houston for yeah, real. Because you can't really pick one of them. Damn. For, unless you Yo, pick you fucking DJ Screw. Put DJ Screw on this motherfucker. A slaughterhouse. How about this? Let's do Lil Flip. We can do Lil Flip. Have a lot of mixtapes. Slaughterhouse? I think that was the umbrella. You talking about Swisher House? Swisher House. Swisher House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But they they didn't have a lot, but. DJ Screw put out Swisher House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, It was the whole lot. Yeah, I had it wrong. Yeah, exactly. Uh, In Texas. That's that's what Eminem did. It was Joe and Crooked Eye and all them. Did they sign to Eminem or some shit? Yeah. Joe Budden, Crooked Eye, Joel Ortiz. Yeah, that's the, but I wouldn't do Joe them because, I mean, hell, man. Joe Budden, what, two songs he came out that was actually yeah, no, good? Was. Pump, 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 pump. Hey, <laughs> well, that that was and Dear Angela pump. and maybe there was one. one. The yeah. only reason, you know, Focus was one of the I've heard that song. Heard the only time I've heard that song was fucking on Juice. Pump it up. Yep. 
Listen to Dear Angela. Listen when, to Dear Angela from uh, Joe Budden. That was a good song. When they came back from killing the dude at the store. I mean, Joe Budden had a lot of fucking mixtapes. He he did, yeah, but he didn't uh, go but nowhere he because been, yeah, he he wasn't he wasn't nobody was nobody listened to him for real. I but I'm wondering if it was like, like why it was. Like goddamn, nigga! Yeah, like I a lot of people really fucked with your shit. Damn. I ain't no goddamn. Yeah, I didn't listen to him like that. It wasn't I didn't know it was that. He, I, I didn't think he. To me, he won that. He, he, I was. It was more like a fast forward. Like you get a you get a good song here and there. It was not like yeah, a, not. He was like a rapidy rapper person. But New York like is a big ass place, and they got their own culture, and there's a lot of yeah. shit that go on there that don't nobody else know about. Like Cali and Texas, and because it's so big. It still make you big as hell for real. But yeah. see, Cali and Texas, like you say, you know, Cali got Nipsey, people like that. Texas got screw music, yeah. you know, Fuck things like that. Music. I mean, you can't <laughs> screw music. That was the time, guys. Yeah. Wasn't it though? Yeah. You got Cali, you got Nipsey, you got Hollywood. That stuff, that stuff was, is good. Like the whole chop, any of the chop to screw mixtapes. Y'all got a favorite chop to screw song? Anybody? Shoot, anything that had a little flip in it, I was listening to chop and screw. She said little flip name seven times. I because I used to love me some little flip. I used to love me some little flip. I used to love me some little flip. I mean, when it came to chop and screw, I mean, Paul Walt on and they was just so amazing. They was great. I feel like it was probably a Charlie Boy song. You like the fucking Charlie Boy. That mixtape, the versatile child mixtape, yeah. Mm. I think there was one more that I listened to. But no, nah, there was there was a couple Wayne songs off the first quarter. There's a couple Wayne songs, period. Now that's that's what I can remember listening to the most shot that screwed is Wayne and Charlie right. Boy. I had to say Paul Wall sitting sideways. Okay, sitting yeah. sideways. Paul. Boys in the days. My favorite chopping screw song. Angie Martinez. That's not her name. It ain't it's Angela Perez. <laughs> Angela <laughs> Perez, send me an angel. Talk it's her name is not it's Amanda. Her name is Amanda Perez. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever the fuck like, that name. shit was awesome. Amanda man. Perez. I didn't hear Chop the Screw. Chop the Screw. Pope was telling me a uh, uh, Sade. Damn, I forget which one it was. It's a Sade song. Chop the Screw. He was telling me that was his favorite shit. Shit, I. Sade, right. which one? What'd she say? I said what's Chop the Screw Sade slow music. Slow. Um, yeah, I don't remember what fucking song it was. It wasn't. Now, you Kiss of Life. Uh, What's the song with Jim Jones and uh, T uh, Lil Wayne? Pop bottles. They did that. Chopping screwed. I didn't hear that. Chopping yeah, screwed. Chopping screwed was. Uh, I think it was called Champion or something. Like I didn't that. listen to a bunch Champion of pop or songs. Pop bottles. They're not pop. Pop it was, champagne. It was a uh, Jim Jones, Lil Wayne, and they did Chopping screwed. It was like pop champagne to drop off. What the hell is that? Oh, I know what you're talking about first. We, I, but that Bird was just Man. the That wasn't the song. The song wasn't Chop the Screw, But though. they made it a Chop the Screw song, though. I oh, think. they Chopped the Screw, yeah, the song that already had the Chop the Screw hook? They Chopped and Screwed the song. No. Damn. You know what I'm you know the song? Chop the Screw, the Chop the Screw song. It was first with Tud and then Pop Bottle. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, they ended up Chopping the Screw. Champion yeah. They ended shots. up Chopping the Screw. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't an official Chopping the Screw like, you know, someone from... I be forgetting about this shit. This should be hitting me in the back of the head. I be oh, like, I know it ain't nobody behind me right no. now. Man. <laughs> Nigga, it's me. You're here. What you doing? A little podcast <laughs> shit. Right. Don't forget me, nigga. I'm here. All right. All right. Well, I guess they, they did all right then with their mouth. Mixtape. Who, who did it? Who put that up? Who the, according to hip hop. I don't fucking okay. know. Okay. That's what's up, hip hop. So hip hop Man, did okay. it. So That's what's up. Good job, hip hop. Good job. Good job. I need that drop. I need a Larry June drop saying good job. I don't know who that is. You know Larry June is? Okay. You know Larry June is? If he don't know who he is, I don't know who he is. What's that mean? And if he don't know who he is, so it's the majority rules. We don't know who he is. Oh, okay. Shit. Damn. <laughs> we don't know that nigga, bro. Right, right. Mention All that right. nigga name around here. All right. <laughs> we don't know who he is. That nigga last name a month anyway, that's weird. <laughs> you know how many people I know with months in their name? The last one? Le right. Mm. Months is usually the first name. Yeah, no. I don't think there's a lot of last names. Yeah, names. that's weird. <laughs> hey, rappers do what they want. They, they do what they want. Do what they Boys want. do what, what they can. Gotti Lears? I was, I was sitting here looking at this like, what Gotti the fuck Lears? did Bob write? What you say about your Gotti? You said Gotti Lears? What? I got left out of that. Is that Lears? Is this supposed to be Lears? This uh, Lears. That's the end. No, I might have nah, just left the whole end out because I was talking to you or something. What is Maybe he supposed so. to learn? What does Gotti learn? Because I know he just took uh, his girl That's right. out. Yeah, it was something about him learning about some shit, yeah. What did he need? Because from what I see, he be treating Angela good. Your awesome. Gotti. So what, what did he do? What did he do? He has enrolled. In UCLA, 
Oh. School of management. He's trying to go smart and go to school. You're, okay. You're trying to go that. smart. That's so fucked up. Man, how y'all I, talk I about mean, nigga trying to get smart. He is smart. School Clear, of I mean, management. Right. Business nigga, management. Nigga been winning for years. He has. Look at him trying to get you smart. Know, he he's trying to go to smart. You know, I had that conversation because okay. you know how they was going all crazy, how he answered that phone in the interview when Angela called him. And he was like, I'm in the interview right now. I'll call you back. People was like, okay. See, it was. He's sweet, awesome, great. But dudes was like, oh, so what? He answered the phone, all this other stuff. Y'all act like he's so, he's so great. And it's like, you don't see what he does for her on a, like, anytime they do something, he's treating her good and he's treating her right. You talking about, you don't think he do that shit all the daily? Maybe. I mean, if he do. He said he got a crush on Angela. He, he been like, there But he's showing he it. never lose all he's his crush. He's showing it. None of his crush. He's showing that he like loves his woman. He treats his woman right. Like, I don't understand the bad. Ain't nothing wrong with not picking up the phone either, though. That too. Either he, way, He, yeah, he could have yeah. not answered the phone, but he did answer the phone. Yeah. Like, hey, bitch, I'm doing shit right now. Click. But he didn't say that. He was like, I'm in the interview right now. <laughs> I'll call rude. you back. You know, he did that. I'm kind of, like, oh, dude. to answer the phone in the rude, interview. I like the video of a dude. What the dude, he drops his blunt and called his girl. She didn't answer the phone. He was like, oh, fuck her. She didn't answer the phone because I dropped my blunt. I just learned that recently, fairly recently. I guess it's been some months now. But we had, no, within the last recent, year, I just. Recent, recent no, day. I just learned what that oh. dropping a blunt and shit meant. I yeah. didn't know that meant it's somebody like was that cheating on At the same time, yeah. When I guess on the special sessions told us. Yeah. Oh, that's news. I mean, what what does it fucking mean? I don't know. I guess it you means somebody's you cheating on you. On that pussy. And so, okay, yeah. so if you she don't answer the phone, she doing something with somebody else. That's dumb as fuck. Hey, she dropped her pussy on a dick. Hey, because you dropped your dropped butt. Shit right yeah. that's your clumsy ass finger falling. Hey. And now it's her clumsy pussy falling. And the butterfly effect. Then getting back up and falling again. Lord Jesus, <laughs> no. it's the butterfly Lord, no, it's no, our, no, it's no, the universe no. telling you. <laughs> no, no, you don't really just fumble the blunt yeah. for no reason. The universe, you do. Obviously. If you got butterfingers, people, the universe so you, blow that bitch out your hand. So yeah. what about a Think basketball? Think about it, nigga. Your so bitch. The, the universe, when she went down and that air gushed out from she, the back, it went right to where you was and boom, blunt. So you drop a basketball, it, it happened because your bitch is cheating no, on you. Just no, it's just no blunt. The you universe don't give a fuck about a basketball. Most oh, people so use two universe, hands for basketballs. What? Like, what are you talking don't give about? A fuck about a basketball? That's it, double jumper, no. though. What? Yeah. What? Can't drop it and pick it back up. But you put it up to your mouth, your lips drop it, so it's the universe's fault. <laughs> what if you? No, it don't matter how you drop it. What part yeah. of your body drops it? And you might perform it if you catch it. Life's not. Your bitch was just looking at it. She was thinking about it though. Yeah, but if that bitch hit the ground, back or no? If it hit the ground, and it sound right, so did she. (laughs) So did she. I'm telling you. So what happened if you single and you drop your blood? Who fought it? It's a bitch that you think is your bitch somewhere doing some shit that she shouldn't be doing. What if you're not messing with nobody? That don't mean nothing. I don't mean nothing if you're single. Yeah, don't oh, mean okay, nothing. then. Get out of right. here. The that, universe don't give a out, fuck. That's just being here. clumsy. Uh, yeah. Get out of here with that double standard. Nah, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I with didn't that. make the rules. Get out of here. So it only means it something if you in a relationship and drop your blunt. Yeah. Yes. So if you're not in a relationship and you drop your blunt, you fine. It's cool. Yeah. Ooh, you clumsy. That's all. Why are you not clumsy if you're in a relationship? That's you're all. you're me- clumsy and getting don't cheated fuck on. Don't clumsy That's niggas. crazy. That's great. Clearly. Get in a, you get in a relationship, you better tighten up. Yeah, you got to do some finger exercises or something. That's all you can do. That's all you can do, clearly. That's all you can do. <laughs> you got to date a nigga smoking. You better start squeezing the tennis ball or what? something. You better got that. See, if you drop the blunt when y'all smoking, if you drop it, that might not. Don't date that nigga. He, he might be cheating at the moment. Damn. Oh, Damn. Hey. Get the fuck out. Oh. Hey. He got a bitch on right oh, there. Y'all learn something new well, every time. She bad. probably dropped the blunt at the same time. Yeah. She. Yeah. That's crazy. What Flavor Flav do? Drop the blunt. Damn. He dropped a lot because he got crazy females. She. So, in the Flav, casino. Flav. They don't say what happened. It's just a clip. Um, But Flavor Flav got the fist fight. <laughs> At his age? Yeah, boy. Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, boy. <laughs> oh, he got age? his ass whooped. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Flay. All right, what happened? Well, I was, so the clip just come on and Flav already on the ground. The dude Damn. on top of him, he, he threw about three or four punches. <laughs> the dude got up and. Punched maybe two or three more times. Damn. Yeah. When you lean back over to punch a nigga, you was mad. Nah, he was he punched him while he was trying to get up. Oh, okay, you okay. Know how you yeah, all right, cool. Motherfucker really can't do shit while yeah. they trying yep. to get shit, up. Shit, nah, I was Flavor Flav drunk? Because he always drunk. He might have been drunk, but he looked... Like, Flavor Flav is 60-something. 
he he looked like it for real right then. I feel like whoever beat up Flavor Flav should go to jail for LWs for real. Yeah. This, no. Yeah, this ain't look right for real. I feel like I it was probably warranted. Before. Yeah, I, I feel wanna, like it was probably warranted. I want to know what happened before it this had for happen real. for a reason because he was probably drunk, talking shit. And we talking about the right old one. people I mean, that, that need to get their ass so. whooped. But no, nah, this wasn't just... I feel like it, if Flavor Flav like he look, you can punch him one time if Flavor Flav gonna leave you the fuck alone for real if he fucking with you. Like, if it, if you gotta mm. punch an old motherfucker, it shouldn't take more than one or two. And now, was the dude your size? Because you talk about everything in life like everyone's your size. He wasn't my size. He was bigger than Flavor Flav. <laughs> you act like... He was bigger than Flavor Flav. Well, Flav. that's not saying much. He was, he, was it looked, old. I'm, I'm bigger than Flavor Flav. And like this was in Las Vegas. I guarantee he was drunk. It got it over with. He beat Flavor Flav up. Oh, you found it? It, it looked a little excessive to me. He was and drunk. He I'm, had to be drunk. And if you was with Flavor Flav, you a hoe for real. Uh, for he, not he, helping? For Flav, not bro, at least break this shit hold up. On. You don't know how, what you was going to say. Flavor Flav is 64. 62 is considered senior citizen. Yeah, so it, this is you, you, you beat up a senior this, citizen. This is LW. Hey, it some is, senior it, citizens it, 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 they ask. They for. might, but not like And this. we don't know if the people that might have been or might not have been with him didn't already stop it a couple times and Flav kept going. Dude, when the, when the clip started. Get it on. That when it started, right. Flavor Flav was on the ground and dude was on top of him. Yeah. So they didn't record the whole he thing. He got up. This shit should have been over. No. Nah. He got up still swinging on nah. Flavor Flav. Yeah, because Flav had been fucking with him too much. They man, already broke that up. That. Three times. That. They broke it up. Three All I know times. is what I saw for real. I'm telling you what happened before what you that. saw. I don't know that. They broke it up. Three different. They kept telling Flav, come on. They were pulling on him. They were not fucking this. Forget it. I feel like somebody saw Flavor Flav like, hmm. This is celebrity lick. ass nigga and shit. Like fuck this nigga, goddamn it! And just started yeah, beating him may, up. Maybe they, nah, they might just start to heckle him a little bit. Like ah, where you bitches at now, Flav? Goddamn it! Ah okay. oh, yeah, ah, where you clock at now, old boy? Saying yeah. nigga, All right. Right. Yeah. 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 And then Flav that shit just might went just off. escalate. I don't, ain't no telling. Like nah, fuck you. And yeah, now they. I'm finna slap Flavor Flav. <laughs> right. And then Flav's people tried to hold him back. I don't think so. I don't think and, so. And he was like, nah, fuck that, because he was drunk, like she said. Even and if then, they would have, after he getting on the ground, if, if somebody with you give a fuck about you, they gonna this stop broke it. They, it gonna, up they now. gonna stop it and break it If I yeah. tried to stop you from if doing not, this two or three times, and you go for it anyway... I'm going to let you ride that out. And just all the way through. Yep. A motherfucker stomping you out in the casino. Just at that age, I can't let somebody just beat your ass. At that age, no. I'm not, I'm not stopping no 60-something Matter of fact, Flavor Flav, from- get you some niggas like me around you. Because if... Everybody would you should have jumped on whoever the fuck was fucking with you, guy. Nah. Right they should have because he's shit. older. So they should have they should have got old dude off him because he's an older guy. So and I, the I older shit, it's head. not because he's older. It's because it's Flavor Flav and he look frail. Because how old he is do Mike look Tyson? Frail. Well, he's a boxer. So Flavor Flav is an old actor. Got nothing to do with it. We talking about I, I said what if, it looks like when you look at this person. Like he, if he look like he, if he move like he look, goddamn it. This is LWs for real. He was just on stage running back and forth. He all right. He shouldn't have been talking that, that shit. God damn it. God damn, put your dudes up. Talking nah. shit, though. What, the, what the dude you said on, on the play, shot? Play uh, not on the we shot. We don't know this shit. Um, what's, the, what's the show everybody was watching? Uh, Snowfall. We don't um, know Flavor Flav When the uncle was like, teach your man how to squabble. Snowfall was awesome. <laughs> We don't know Flavor Flav Snowball was great. This shit Snowball not. was great. You yeah. assuming it this was. shit. All we can say is what look, we saw. Look, what we saw hey, was excessive for well, real. Somebody need, if whoever is Flavor Flav's mans, teach your mans how to squabble. Goddamn, cause shit. Fuck that. Flavor Flav is too old. He's not finna learn how Ain't to no fight. Ain't no fucking squabbling. Hey, then he shouldn't have been talking shit. You don't know if he was. You can't just say that because you feel you like no one. Dude could have been like, oh, you Flavor Flav, I'm gonna fight you. And he could be like, bring it on, bitch. Well, yeah. fuck that. Just, just know that. Flavor Flav, you 64. You out here. Get Kato said you can't right fight here. no more. We're going to be jailed. Because no, you too old. I'm not 64. I'm not fighting no more, goddamn it. You can't fight at age. You cannot fight at age. Fuck that. I smoke. Well, shit, all right. Yeah. Hey, I'm, gonna be, I'm not fighting these motherfuckers uh-uh. no more. Right, and y'all need to know what kind of drug routine Flav is on. Just because he old, he might yeah, have he some does, shit to make him feel 40. I'm going to let my lawyer sort this shit out, goddamn it. Who you think winning? Flavor Crunchy. Crunchy. Crunchy's winning. Crunchy's yeah. gonna whoop his ass. What you mean? 
Flay was Flay and Lil Frail for real. Yeah, Crush ain't been through a lot, size. but Crush, he, 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 he takes. They about the same size. Nigga, Crush is still do cocaine he, yeah, and dance he, at the same time. As long as he's still doing cocaine, he's going to be strong. Crush is going to whoop the shit out of As long as he's on cocaine, he's going to be strong. I feel like Flay might do some of that shit too. I don't know. Oh, no. Not according to that video. Flay ain't fun. Who You know who's older? I don't know. Oh, I think probably. Flav probably. Yeah, Flav, Crunchy Flav. Black can't be 63. Yeah. Flav, yeah. Flav older than Crunchy Black. What is it, 63 or 64, Flav? 64. Flav? 64. Let's 64. see. Yeah, Crunchy Jeez. Black. Ain't no way he's 63. Oh. Crunchy Black, 49. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 49. Yeah, Crunchy Black, yeah. Damn, I don't want to crack. That shit is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Crunchy Black been out here, shit. <laughs> No yeah, <laughs> goddamn me, man, that okay. nigga. Boy, he was in that drug and Forty nine. Yeah, Crunchy Black been out you. Crunchy Black looked the same since he came out. Goddamn, that's the thing. That part is true. You can't tell how old this nigga is by looking at him. He looked like he looked when he was twenty seven. <laughs> Hell, all three six looked old as fuck when they was twenty seven. Shit, man, okay. They all looked old as fuck. And they all had songs about cocaine. Okay. Shit, they all look old as fuck. And all the drugs. Like they can relate somewhere for her. Shit, then one, of, then one, the girl died. Oh, what was her name? Uh, Lil Jet. Yeah, yeah, she Gangsta died of a drug overdose. Was it Gangsta Boo? Gangsta Boo dropped out of her. Uh, Lil Jet didn't die. That's right. Gangsta yeah. Boo died. And, Excuse me. And, yeah, never mind. Did too? No. Is she? No, okay. She might be. I was not. Yeah, she's alive, but who's going to You sure? Who alive? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Are you all sure? Um, I thought, yeah, it, I it, thought was it was Lechat. Yeah, I know Gangsta Boo died, but I she was on Mary's boot camp. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah no, it was just camp. Gangsta Boo. And Lechat she was trying to be all sober and stuff. And now they like, like, caught her ass with that coke in the room, but she was trying to act like it wasn't hers. No, not the cops, man. Hell yeah, I don't say that shit. ain't mine. Oh, because it had Gangsta Boo, it had Noriega, yep. and uh, Noriega it had one other person. I was like, oh, all of y'all in the house. I'm going to see what the okay. fuck y'all doing, nigga. I'm watching this. Damn, what was I the other guy? Who else? Uh, was, was, that, was Keisha Cole in it? Was, it, was, it was a, it was a what, the boy from Love and Hip Hop, the guy from Love and Hip Hop. Who, I didn't, and then right, the, I didn't then know him. Then it was another was guy who, he was gay, but his girlfriend was, his girlfriend was a uh, straight. Damn, it was. And she, I didn't he, know who he was. She found out she was cheating on him with guys. That was wild. I watched that whole season. wasn't there for drugs. No, it, nah, was it was marriage boot, boot camp. camp. A marriage boot yeah. camp. Yeah. Oh, okay. But the Gangsta the Boo dude was a white dude. dude. Young Jock was on there, wasn't he? Young Jock, yeah, he was on, but not that I season with them. Okay, yeah, yeah I he I was on there. Him. No, he was on uh, marriage therapy on like the VH1. Oh, shit. That's the one he was some on. Shit. He went on to uh, marriage boot camp. I was just saying, uh, should have went on there. But sorry, Gotti. Congratulations, bud. Good job, man. Right. Learn them what up. We got, what we got? Derek. Got it. Got it. Wasn't even CLA. Fuck that shit, though. Right. Um, Get his education on. Man, all right. Hell yeah. Uh, Business management. So yeah. Glass one. Derek Chauvin. I feel Chauvin. like the nigga that already managed. That what business I'm saying, management. No, you oh, didn't man. manage the fuck out of business. Oh, no, like that's why she. It was fucked up how she was like, oh, he trying to be smart. He trying to go he try, smart. He trying to go smart. <laughs> <laughs> I had to register like, yeah, like he used to be gay. <laughs> Man, <what? laughs> I had to register. Look at Lil Yo. Look at Yachty going straight. I had to register at first. I had to register because then I'm like, wait a minute, Gotti learns. Okay, okay. Yeah, no. Nah, but I, I didn't know. But I mean, I pretty know he's smart. I mean, shit, he got to be smart. Look at how he doing, Angela. They they living that's life. That's what you said, and that's how we ended up down that road. We not that's going back down. That's what happened. That's what happened. Blinker, you turn. Yeah, right, okay, we we'll go to. We go to. We go to Derek. CMG though, shit. Yeah, no. Like CMG is good, but they, but they, but the they take, like from, they got a new one out right now. Real. They got a new one out. I, I was listening to it on the way here, but it's not good. I don't think the whole. I don't like their mixtapes. It's like it have no, like it have like two it. or three good songs on each of the mixtapes, but they be trash. Yeah, I don't. I the one you talking about. The one that just came out. It just released uh, the one with Money Back, uh, but the other one had uh, Glorilla on it. But it had a couple good songs. But this one that just came out, I, nah, I think the last one I heard was the one with Glorilla or before Glorilla. I, yeah, I feel like Glorilla's when, the once you done one. built a multi million dollar business, yeah, uh, you probably don't need to go to school for business. Business school can show you. you don't, for well, I don't know. Let's ask. I let's mean, ask the be. expert in the room. It could be for no, real. Let's ask the expert in the room. <laughs> I right, so, so, 
Well, I think you could go back. You can learn things that have changed that might work now that didn't work then. Okay, that no, makes that's, sense. That's so, that. You can refresh or learn some new things that are out there. There's a lot of, you new, feel like a lot of new markets should, out there. You feel like you should have to pay as much if you already been running like a million yeah, dollars. No, you probably if you you probably gonna have, have to pay to, a little more for but it. <laughs> you shouldn't have like, to. Though, you right? got like, it. You gonna have to pay a little. You like we we can't. You already know. Let's this nigga. Look at his necklaces. Oh yeah. I said, look at. Is he actually showing up to class though? Is he doing? You better he might be doing it online or something. I don't know. I don't know. Boosie went to JSU for like two days. He did. I was saying, like, did what? Party? Nigga, <laughs> that was like two days. I don't want to do it. I, do they do the school work? Like, what the fuck? Shit, you I believe. they got somebody I'd, do it for them? I'd imagine it's harder or if you're famous. Or they got their money. I feel they just like pay for their degree. You gonna get more attention? How are they going to? How are they going just... to school daily? I mean, I know online because I did online school, but how are you actually going to school physically for some of these degrees? At my computer. Yeah, that's you not, don't gotta go to. That I mean, you you probably go to the building, but do you think they really doing it? Yeah. Or they got somebody doing it? Somebody doing it. Yeah, it, it might it's, not. It's somebody's an extension doing. of them, so they're doing. It's it. getting done. Yeah. I guess. I guess. I guess. <laughs> So what you got about Derek Chauvin? Because he got stabbed. If you're going to pay for it, you don't might nobody as well care. do it so you can learn what the fuck you're trying to learn from doing this shit. Yeah. It's the, if, like I would if, assume that he does that If you a millionaire like, now, like, shit. fuck the piece of paper for real. The degree don't matter. You want to learn what you're trying to learn from this shit for real. Yeah. I would imagine. Because if it was just a piece of paper, I'd yeah, yeah, I got I a bunch of pieces I, of paper. I, I, if, I, if they going to no, school, it got to be for a reason. No, no, I'm, I'm taking it back. Yeah. That's, that's a great point, but I'm, I'm that's what I'm I, taking that's it back. How I would look at it. If Angela said, I want you to do this, and he was like, I'm just going to go do it, so she'll shut up. No. Then he might be paying for somebody to do the shit then. Hey, maybe so. It could be. He just like, oh, the cheat said do it. You see the worst is some shit, boy. <laughs> All the shit. But that ain't no, worse. That, that's no. love. But that's it's love because she's like, if she, she's they trust him to no do it. no bitch. It's love. another nigga on the bus doing this shit. <laughs> but that's love. She's telling him to do it though. So that's love. What's love about it? He already know what the fuck he need to know. But he don't because he not doing it. If she tell him, you don't do know it. that. Yeah, he know what he need. And if know she knows something, he don't know why she don't just tell him. <laughs> hey, if she tell him, you got to come with me. Fuck Teamwork. it. Teamwork. Everybody going to school. Mm, it's teacher work And he better behave himself You better behave yourself Are they gonna school. call your mama <laughs> Look God it won't sit down he And shut the fuck up and Stop talking I don't know what the fuck Cocaine he music keep is on rapping. He gotta chill out <laughs> And he can't say here The right way yeah, what? I don't think he belongs In this class yeah, what? what up teach What up class <laughs> I'ma be there <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Oh man yeah, Nigga do this shit On your computer Do this shit On your, on your computer I hear him. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Yo, God, yeah, that's how they call his name on the wall. <laughs> Jonathan. My, right here. Yeah. Andrew. Yo, God, yeah. Yo, God. Her. Do we answer the question? Yeah, he's like her. Yeah, her. Her. <laughs> Angela. What up, Teach? <laughs> but he in love, though. Leave him oh, oh, alone. They're doing great. They're doing great. <laughs> Ooh, they shout doing out great. to Yo Gotti. Shout out to Yo Gotti. That's what's up. Who your man. last one? Okay, your last one is <coughs> Derek Chauvin. Which, why is he even on there? Well, he got stabbed. Okay, you heard that. We know. I just learned it. He got stabbed. I didn't know he got stabbed. Good. Got stabbed up. Good. Don't times. nobody care about him. Good. I didn't know that at all. And Good. then he, he out of the hospital now. They sent him back. Straight to the he same back. jail. Of course. <laughs> Put him back in there. Where well, was the blood at? Put him over there. <laughs> <laughs> same spot. We Put ain't got to Put him in the Put him in the room with him. We ain't got to yeah. So it don't look like he going to last very long in prison, goddamn. He not. The, uh, so who was shout the, out to the nigga that stabbed him. Duh. Call us. Tell him my phone number. Bar. Call us, guys. Two five six seven eight eight seven three three nine. We, we will accept the charges. Hey, we, we're phone. gonna see you some too. <laughs> hey, the man. We're gonna see you some. Number in the address. <laughs> okay, <laughs> goddamn. Don't nothing, everybody be lying like you didn't know. Nothing but hopes and dreams. All y'all sending him. Y'all ain't sending him nothing. You wild. You can send him some. He don't something. get nothing. Who? Why would? Why would no, he get anything? Not him. Not there. Who? The motherfucker who stabbed The dude oh, who oh, tripped and fell yeah. with the blade. Oh, okay, hey. got you, got you, got you. I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Why we sending him Why, shit? Yeah, no, he, yeah, nah, he, he getting shit. shit. But speaking of, y'all see what happened to the Decatur PD? 
What they got. They, they lost their jobs. They terminated them. The ones that killed Steve. Oh yeah. They terminated them. Yeah, they, they terminated them. Terminated. They got one more. They should arrest them bitches. They yeah. terminated them. So I was like, okay, finally good. Ooh, yeah. So don't, don't, no be, don't be blocking our bridges no more. Jail. But they terminated him. They, all three of or three of them. There's another one. He didn't get terminated though. So I don't know why he didn't. But three got terminated. Where them bitches live? Y'all know the addresses? Mm-mm. Shit, probably somewhere in the cave. You gonna do like they were doing the old lady? What, what they do to the old lady? Yeah, everybody went to her yard. Who was that? Who was that old lady that uh said everybody went to her yard? Oh, the Emmett Till lady. Oh, this one. She, yeah. she dead though. Did she die? Right. She died. She died. <laughs> <laughs> but before she, she died, died yeah. Before she died I think about that she lied That she came out That she lied about it Like how you house, 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 Yeah we gonna go to To the, to the Occupy house. outside yeah. This lady house yeah. <laughs> Like what did you think You was gonna tell a story And then years later No I was gonna remember And be like they okay We are not gonna hold her responsible They should've sent That bitch to prison Right then yep. I don't give a fuck How old you Right in there They got an infirmary bitch They sure do Nah they wasn't gonna do that to her Send that bitch to prison It didn't take you too long To die after that shit though that's why she said it she she knew yeah she, she knew she was finna die she knew die. she was finna die she ain't uh, let me she tell my li- let me get my little fame again before I die god damn yeah so they charged the dude that that fell with the knife they charged him with murder with or attempted murder, murder. I was attempted saying, murder me. I mean my bad hell oh, he was already tripping. in there he had to be in there for a while already so he probably didn't even care that's not true how long was he in there for? Already? I don't know. He didn't have to be in there for a while already, though. <laughs> Golly. For him to go still, to go try to kill another person, he didn't care about his incident. I feel like dude got a green light on his head from almost any black person that sees him for real. For yeah, it could have just been a bad day. Yeah, I, I feel like whoever see him going to try to he kill He could have called the house that day. Old girl didn't pick up. Some dude did that he knew. No. And he thought that you, they, he thought they were like... Dude had already put some money on his book. Now he know his girl gone, the money on the book gone, and his homie gone. And he turned around and Derek Shit, right there. I don't think he had no that. I feel like somebody said nigga. Derek in this air right there. Right yeah. there. Like, do, it. Like, do it. Do it. Today, today, I, yeah, today, 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 today I want to fuck got somebody. You all the noodles. I feel everything. like as soon as you find out where he at, you got to go stab him right now. Fuck what's going well, on. Well, then the person that said home. Derek in the cell should have been in there stabbing him. too, but he's scared. He ain't going to do it. He no, came right. to God the I'm nigga who say. was going to stab him. Yeah, well, at least there's someone in there that will. Yeah, it's got to be somebody. <laughs> probably probably like she will, said. Will, someone been, that did? He been here for a while. He going to be here. Someone that did? Go get the stabby nigga, guy. He's been there for a year and a half. <laughs> Only got two years to do. That's and fucked fuck up. it up. He probably yeah, shouldn't stab him. Wow. Don't let him stab him. That's how niggas be done. Get the nigga who's, going, who's not going back home. God He'll be home in five years. Oh, shit, he ain't going to be home for six. But you right, though. Motherfucker <laughs> go to prison for a little short time and be yeah, in that bitch forever die. That's what always scared me the most about yeah, shit. That's what, that's what scared me about prison. Jail. Like, I'm going to go to prison and I'm going to stab the shit out of some people. Right. And now, now I'm going to be there forever. Yeah. I'm gonna, the yeah. 10 going to turn to 100. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's not go to prison. Yeah. Tell me. Because shit. And had nobody told me there was jail in the jail. No, yeah. Like if they be mad at you and shit, yeah. like the like the COs be mad at you. I Had went to jail in me. the jail one time. Yeah, I, I spent a few days in there. We was just slept boxing. That's when they told me that if you spit on the floor, it's uh, what's it called? You fuck up property. It's a uh, you doing some shit to government property. Vandalism. Yeah, maybe no. I don't uh-huh. know. It don't matter. They Destruction be of government property. Yeah, this and I was like, like, they ain't gonna charge. destroy shit. But yeah, it didn't matter. You're going to jail, bitch. Why well, I'm in, in jail. jail, bitch. In jail. Yeah. You're going bitch. to the other jail, bitch. Yeah, it's all too many day. fucking oh. jails, yeah, bitch. All Speaking day, of jail, here. man, and we ain't put this on the board. I ain't sending it now. I don't know why I remember the cut of jail. But damn, Sauce Walker. Sauce Walker. You seen it? Slow your ass down. Man. Slow your you know ass down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, but I don't know yeah. what happened. He took the police on a high speed chase. Mm-hmm. He a rapper from Texas. What are you saying? Yeah, nigga hit the sirens, nigga. That was a perfect siren moment. Very recently he Oh, you right. You Fucked tripping. Up. Very recently, he had a um, uh, he dropped a song where he basically said that he could rap with J Cole. They should do a song together. Never ever. You don't know who he is. Shit, though. South Walker <laughs> Corral. So I, you... South Walker, I, I'm becoming yeah. a fan for real. Yeah, he got a few songs that's like mm, no thanks, but most of the time I hear him, I be like, all right, man, bro. I'm, like, I'm becoming a fan. I like this shit, man. I can't even lie. I got like three of his songs on my playlist right now. 
That's a lot for somebody I don't really listen to. That's a lot. Oh. Yeah, no, I like Sauce Walker, but I was I was hurt when I saw that. He he uh, took the police on a high speed chase. He he was uh at least at the time the story was released, it was said that he is currently handcuffed to a hospital bed. Damn, so, Walker? Yeah, he walking to jail. Sauce, what? whatever the fuck call you like that. To a hospital bed? Yeah. Cause you right. know, we when you get arrested. You go, but you gotta go to the hospital. They yeah. handcuff you to the bed. Yeah, and there's a the police outside the yeah, room. Yeah, they stay right there with the you. Road. Yeah, you can't leave. Yeah, you you still, you still under arrest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the bed now. That's all. The bed under arrest too. <laughs> this is jail property, now. <coughs> this hospital. It's another room one is, of them system buildings. This hospital room is schools, jail jails, and hospitals. Shit, all right. Oh, shit. Cases and sentences. Cases shit, and sentences, right. man. Ain't it, man? Is that the name of the episode? Cases Might and well, Sentences? Might well, I remember. Jesus. God damn. Oh, it's fucked well, up. I ain't right. know the kids out here catching cases in school like that, neither. They do. That's why. That's they why. do. They do. But yeah, uh, the dude that stabbed Derek got charged with attempted murder. Derek is back, and somebody's probably going to attempt a murder. <laughs> Don't Him attempt this shit. Again. Just do it. Do this shit. Well, you can't do it without attempting. That was a good attempt. 20 times, God yeah, I thought it was 22. <laughs> we 22. had one 22. 22 tools. Per, turn on Jay Z. Bars. Yeah, that, that, was, was, that was a good attempt. attempt. I can't yeah. even say nothing he about failed. that. I, so, damn. So he should, I was about to do it again. Too. I do do yeah. that. Damn. Now, it depends on if he stabbed him in his feet 22 times. Yeah. I, say, I don't know if it was an abrasion or like a full puncture. How far he in did it go? Yeah, because they be doing shit like that. You know, I don't like the, pay, the paperwork these motherfuckers' system be doing. They'll be like, it was 17 stabbings. No, really fuck was three. Rambo shake, 22 times. All right, fuck it. 22 times. I ain't got no knife sound. Just, don't watch out. Fuck that. Don't watch out, little bit. I ain't surprised. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, man. What is humans are so fucked up? Aren't they? Uh, but I right. some of them ain't so. No, I think. I mean, in general, maybe as some. a whole, no. Yeah, no. there's there's well, a large amount of people. Here, I'll give you two examples real quick. That right. a large amount of people, like an unfathomable amount of people, that all agree with the same sentiment at the same time. When Buddy got stabbed. The way they thought about him and what they wanted, what they cared about. Yeah. When the Twin Towers happened and the way they looked at people that had a beard and something on their head. I ain't catch that, though. Because I... I it from, happened. I mean, you're right. It did. No, I'm... Well, I guess... It's amazing. I didn't subscribe they had a thing, to it. They had a thing yeah, that measured like seismographs ago. around the earth, right? They they all connect to each other to, to measure the planet shit when shit's shaking the shit. It does, it's for that, What's but... What's the name it, of graph? A seismograph. Seismograph. Yeah, they they use it for the reason of a seismograph, but it can read other energy levels yeah. too. And when the twin towers happen, a day after or the same day or some shit, when it when the news spread, the level of a certain energy went up around the whole world. Like everybody was on the same shit at the nigga, same time. Nigga, level orange. Yeah, nigga. like also, like everybody <laughs> felt the same way about this shit. Like, oh, orange. that's fucking loony right there. But that shit really be happening and, and it's a shitload of people that's like, fuck yeah, that they got stabbed the fuck up, stab them again. But like normally, I wouldn't be like, stab a nigga. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Why? But it depends on... What you've done prior to this stabbing. That's stab all your point of reference. Some yeah. people still be like, don't stab them. Oh, yeah, no. It's some, some people be like, like, fuck that, shoot them in the head. Well, you shouldn't have that in prison. I'm just saying. <laughs> but you could do that. Like, it used to be that. how you could do things. <laughs> <laughs> just God. take them outside by that brick wall. Yeah. Tie used some to be, around his it eyes. It used to be if a motherfucker got your daughter pregnant and didn't marry your daughter. You could kill that motherfucker for real. Unless he paid you a certain amount of silver. Or gave you like seven cows. Or yeah, he gave you some animals. <laughs> then it was great. You got to let it be. You got to let it be. You're right. You can't rescue her. There ain't so no princess peach in this bitch. Got your you can still pregnant. broke people daughters. You be good. If a broke motherfucker got your daughter pregnant, you go do cows? something to her. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this was back in the time. It's, it's the, it's the bot. Ask young thug. Because the young soldiers of the Lord... They yeah. know about like all the stuff that the Bible was. and shit. Yeah. yeah. What they used to say, the Old Testament, the New Testament, the pre, the post, <laughs> all of the testaments. And he don't give any testament modis. Testimonies. Gonna do. <laughs> gonna tell. He gonna be in there forever. 
I hope not. No. But if he do, oh, man, uh, he, also he, he there we go. Crazy. Another one. I forgot about this too. Didn't share the TV. Y'all probably don't care about this one either. Oh, Sue Surf. Sentenced to five years. He's a battle rapper, very well Ooh. known. One of the best there is. Two He's from shirts. New Jersey. Sue, like Tsunami. I thought he Tsunami said two shirts. Like, tsunami what? Surf. He got sentenced. To, he's, he's been locked up for probably almost two years now, a little over a year, two years. But he uh, he's a really good battle rapper, one of the best ones out. Um, and he got in a racketeering case. And oh, shit. shit. So, so, so. White collar but, crash. Uh, yeah, he, he got sentenced to five years, so. It's oh hell, he's so a two already. Yeah, and and oh, the, what he they finna, was talking about at first. Oh my God, this is amazing. He's gonna do about two, three this months to come home here. So, well, now nah, this. Can be, uh, you think? Because yeah. you're gonna get credit served for two. Yeah, you're not gonna do the whole oh, really? five for real. Yeah. I think you he's probably five. gonna do like at least another two. Well, I, I think he, he in the eighty five. Whole five, he do in he the eighty five. Yeah, he is yeah. white collars and shit. And that's as long as he hopefully keeps his hands clean. It should be Same. easy if he's locked up with the same type of criminals. I don't know. He's he a crip. Man. He <laughs> speaks very proudly of it. But he probably ain't going to be. If he locked up so, with the same type we'll of criminals. It just depends on which, be a lot who of in which place he at. Bloods in there with him. That's what I'm saying. It depends <laughs> on where he at and which place he at. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, hopefully everything goes Lock well, him up goes with great. Other motherfuckers who do I, I watch here. battle rap frequently enough to miss having him in some battles. And who wants to see a nigga locked up? You ever been to prison like before? That. Him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah just, all right. He's I'm, one of the battle rappers that, like, you might want to believe that's some what I'm of that saying, shit. That's how you can tell. Uh, he's like this tall, but all no man would have known. All the rappers are gangs now. And I feel like the only way I can tell you really in the game is if you went to prison and you came out still in the game. <laughs> now I know you in the game for real. That's good, though. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah, saying. You got it. <laughs> If you ain't do that, you gotta you, still be in the game yeah. when you come back yeah. out. You can't. You can't come out. Like, oh, no, I changed my <laughs> life. Um, we don't do that shit no more. I wear glasses now. Oh um, yeah, you can't quit you know, the so game in, the Lord. in prison. He said, "Cause I wear glasses." No. I'm Maybe if you're gonna stay there for the rest of your life, but if you coming back out, yeah, if you're gonna stay there for the rest of your life, then I don't know what the <laughs> rules is no more for real. <laughs> You can't come back out and get back in the game. Yeah. Nigga, that ain't, that ain't how it is. You wasn't in there in the prison, but now you is again. Now leave out the blue shit at home. I'm just straight. I'm just straight. I'm just straight. I get it. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Um, what was it? Well, fuck. You take a break? You ready? <coughs> take a break? Quick break? Definitely. Yeah. No, I walked out there the one day and, and was talking on the phone, and they tried to do the same shit. I walked outside, I was talking on the phone, and they tried to act like it was some extra shit. Oh, no. It's just how you have to date. The time you walked out there, it was uh, something. Mama, so. It wasn't nothing. Yeah, you remember what the time you walked out there? You said something. And he put on it his... Wasn't, it he, wasn't it was, it was how. He put on his radio voice. <laughs> yeah. That, and that's how that's how she telling her story, too. Say, oh, yeah, hey, how, you, how you doing? Right. And then he jumped Damn. up and said, Ooh, I've been waiting on this call. That's <laughs> not what it is. Alright. 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 Ran Back. outside. Hey, how you doing? Just making shit up now, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just, that's what we do. Hey, but you could tell with a smile when he came back in. Though. Yeah, no, I, I, not because I, I heard so, I, don't even know, I can't even listen. When a dude says his mom on the phone, I can't listen to that shit no more. I'm like, alright, whatever. Man, see? Whatever. Whatever. No, it can't be his mom on No, that was oh, him it, saying it, it, it was it, his mom. No, I'm saying it could be, but I've I'd have been in the switch of like, oh, it's my mom on the phone. And be talking to a bitch. Yeah, that's why I'm like, oh, whatever. What? Whatever. Like, talk, like on the phone. Yeah. Like, this, nah, this is my mom. Yes. I told you it'd be all kind of shit going on out here, Kato. I told you. What? I told you. Gas to be. When I heard about that thirty dollar hug, I was like, all right, it's over. Thirty dollar hug is over. Thirty dollar hug. Yeah. Why? Why was it thirty dollars? I don't know. Did you do it? Because the motherfucker. No, I didn't. I heard, I heard about it. Somebody wanted a hug from this chick, and she was like thirty dollars. Yeah. Thirty dollars. Or he was like, "I'll give you thirty dollars if you let me hug you or something." I, I don't remember exactly how it went. All I remember is there was a thirty dollar hug. Sight. <laughs> 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 Shit. I took yeah. the hell out of bitch. 
I didn't, yo. Yo, it's some, yo, yeah, shit. $30 for a hug. I don't know. I thought pussy was $40. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of shit that'll make the price go up. Wait, okay. Like, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the fuck? Shit. I don't understand why is pussy $40, but what is dick? I don't, which, it should be what, like what at least, why, at why least we 10 times more. more. What they charge. Some Jordans. At least 10 times more. It's some right. Jordans. It might, it might good ones. It might be some Jordans. Yeah. Because I done bought quite a few pair of Jordans. Some Jordans, shit. yeah. So it, got, it gotta be. 220, shit. Plus tax. 250, yeah. 250 plus tax. I well, all right. Shit. Yeah. Hmm. 220, shit. That's a discount. I wish. I, I ain't been a while since I got them. I tried to stand in line one time. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> that was a bullshit. I got your Jordans. I got the Never do that shit again. I ain't never won that. shit. Whole time you got a whole other bitch and shit. Damn, damn. Man, okay. My last one, he, he still don't even know I got rid of the fucking joint. We had, we had, uh, he bought what was it? It was some red Jordans that came out on, around his birthday, some red and black ones, and we bought matching Jordans to wear his to his uh birthday party. And I was, I found out he was cheating. I was like, oh no, fuck that shit. I took the bitches back to uh, Hibbets, got a refund. He still think I got. You them can't be matching. You get, hey, look at her true. matching the cheater. I ain't gonna lie, this. That's some corny shit I've ever well, seen. Matching, when people I do bet. that shit, we, what I match bet. outfits? Man, matching outfits, we matching match, shoes. We match just, Jordans every what about time. About pajamas. Man. I don't. I mean, but maybe yeah, but that's we that's we different. Do, we yeah. did all the Halloween that. thing. We did all that. That might be this cute, maybe. They got matching costumes. We did all that. But shoes is over. Just out here and put down. You get to the shoes. Y'all both can't. Y'all both can't love this pair of retro J's. I mean, you might can, but don't don't wear them at the same day. It was the same color, same (laughs) shoes, like. Y'all ain't Jordan. twins at this motherfucker. Every time, if we didn't have a matching Jordan, same color every time. What make what weirds it out to me is because growing up. My two younger sisters are close enough in age that a lot of times people that doesn't make sense. They still I don't see why they people thought they were twins, twins, but but they did dress the same attire a lot of times. So I'd be okay, maybe that's why they think they're yeah, twins. If you, yeah, so growing up, the, the only day. time I would see people wearing shit that was the same was like siblings. So then when I see people wearing the same shit like that, but it's a couple these twins. That's the yeah, Man, it, that's I, the, I, that's I, my I one little qualm. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> like that's crazy. and I know it's not a twin, but I know that my mind first goes to <laughs> okay. sibling before couple. That's and crazy. that's why it's a little weird for me. Cause, Cause I don't want nobody to look at me and be like, Man, I, my mom is to me and my little sister, me and Monica all the time. The same color out the same outfit, just different colors. And I'm like, Mommy, why do I have to wear the same thing as her? I'm in an older grade than her. Why do we have to match all the time? Because I like it. Whatever. So we wore matching outfits. People thought we were twins. I'm like, no, we're not twins. I'm older than her. And then one, we one day she was seven feet yeah. taller than you. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and they're like, oh, she's your older sister. I'm like, no, I'm older than her. And she's fucking eight feet tall. And I'm here Man. I am in ninth grade. Like, Monica, yeah, I'm like, tall. But it, it was girl. the same shit. And it's like, dude. But when it comes to like a dude, like I want I want to wear it. Like, if you want that, hell, let's wear the same color together. We got yeah, I don't I don't want Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't care she for be it. trying for this shit. I, I'm like, yeah, no, nah, we're not doing this shit. Maybe if there's it. something yeah. that I maybe I I I'm sure there's a way that it could be done that I would like it more than what I think of and picture when that's spoken on. Because I don't want us to both have the same exact fucking thing. No, nah, I can't say we wear the same exact... We look like a team I, out this Like, we don't wear the same, like, what we did before. Yeah, we, we did work before. together We, we both had the same, God like, purpose it. hoodies, <laughs> and then, but we had different orange and white Air Max. Who y'all play for? We had the same purpose hoodies, but different orange and white Air Max. We, we out of town. We, we on a school trip. Yeah, right. <laughs> we, would, we, would do, we would do shit like that. We would match no matter where we... Even when we yeah. go out with the kids, like to events, like Gabby's birthday, we all... You know what red. else? And you know the what kids match too. So we all Here's do that kind of shit. my first thought when I see that shit. Mm-mm. I never see the kids matching for real like shit, that. Shit, you see I that see, shit. You know, the, not matching the parents? Yeah. Like the whole family got the same fucking outfit on. Like This is my third thought about the couple matching outfit. Outfits. The third thought is it's like Facebook or Instagram, like, but but what y'all be like for real? Cause I feel like if you had to do that. Yeah, it's extra. Did, yeah. Man, it's, I, I feel like there's no way that could be for real. Bitch put on the shoe. Hey, man. <laughs> Nigga, I did put on the purple shirt. The Nike one. <laughs> you want me to cook for you, don't you? Hey. Jeez. Yeah, I, be, I do be having some bad thoughts about stuff. I've been trying to work wow, on that, man. I, I didn't have to fight to match. It was different. Like, he had never did it before. He didn't mind it. He like, You know, he was going to match if he was going to cheat. 
I didn't, I didn't match, which is crazy. Like, why you gonna say be out here at the fucking club and matching and shit? And you out here fucking cheating. Because if a nigga cheat, he don't do any could, fucking but thing. She, but cheating, but cheating, like that shit was complete. If a nigga cheat, cheating, he gonna cheat. do what the fuck? He, he don't give a cheat, fuck. Like, all right, if you want me to match with you, let's match. Cheating, he need everything else to go right. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to match, hell yeah, let's do it. You ask for it. You want me to iron it? That's how it is. Whatever the fuck you ask for, you got it. You was cheating, so you got fucked. But all right. So beware of a nigga that want to match shoes with you. I'm so just saying. Are you really saying faithful dudes cheat? Faithful dudes? Now, if you want to match shoes, you cheat. Match huh. shoes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I believe they can be faithful dudes who match <coughs> match outfits and not mm-hmm. cheat. It's a red I, I flag. That. I'm not going to fault every guy because I had to cheat. It's a, it's a red but flag. I, but he hmm. did do that shit where we matched and shit, but then turn around, you fucking fuck with a whole other bitch. Shit. Would you be more mad if he had matched with her? What if she got the shoes too? <laughs> Bitch, Man, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> you got the special edition. And you got okay. the regular. They ain't even fucking. You got the regular. They just out there in the same okay. outfit y'all was in. I be mad as fuck. I be mad as fuck. She on the team, yeah. too. She yeah. ain't a man. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't a man. Call hey, on. She on the team, too. Y'all Call the audible. Fucking. Y'all just need to work together. Hey. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I don't work hey. together. I don't share. I don't work together. Ain't no team working on this shit. And you can have how you go that way. Nah. Oh man! I just took them shoes back and everything. Man, hey, yeah, that's, you that, give it, get a uniform back. That was your problem. Yeah, well, you right quit. Man. Yeah, you <laughs> quit. You get a, yeah. yeah, he's supposed to turn a uniform. Turn man. your uniform yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, who, took, who clapping? I took them shoes right back to fucking Hibbs. Bye, y'all can have them. What she said? What happened? Why you don't want the shoes? Why are you returning? I said because he cheated. Damn. He cheated. She's like, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Come on, Kato, do it. Come on, now. We, gotta, we ain't clap to start this year. Hey, we ain't clap to start the break. Who? Why you on the ear? Yeah, ain't nobody clap, clap for the break. No, no it ain't been no back. clap. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back no. to my little break, goddamn. Oh. Um, um, hey. I think we came back right. Yeah, I seen it. I seen it when we was on break. I was like, you shit, we going to come back right on motherfucking time. Yeah, do say yeah, the same thing, man. This, this bitch yep. started All talking. Right. What? No, don't call nobody. Bitch, don't how do you get that from Stop me? It. I don't. This bitch be wilding out. Oh, um, I know. It's, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I didn't fight the boys and girls all the motherfucking episode. <laughs> Sometimes ladies you need a little bit more advice than you thought you needed at a younger age than you realized. Mm-mm. Nineteen and only. Nineteen. And Those up. are boys and girls. Nine, nah, them is grown men and women. Nineteen year old. Never mind. We not good. They don't matter. All right, all right. Um, tell them about it. Welcome one, welcome all, goddamn. This is um the part of the show. What part? With us, the smokers, us four. Matter of fact, we finna bring you the best advice that you could uh, ever imagine or hope oh, wait, to obtain okay. from any oh. of your endeavors. Like no matter where you go. No matter where. No matter what you see, no, no matter, matter what. what hill you climb, ain't no or what mountain river high you enough. swim. Ain't no valley low you're enough. You're never gonna experience you never ever experience the shit that we can tell you to help you change your life in this little session of our little show. When what's true is true, it's true, you feel me? That we call red and on red. We can't get to like every one of y'all. Not every one. To tell y'all the best advice that you need. Um, let's give these some motherfuckers some examples of some vice with the gay people. Um, I told, um, it was, I had a partner named Jesus. Okay. And he was trying to get people to believe the shit he was saying. Right. And I was like, bro, I seen you walk on water before. I seen this happen. If you go out there and you walk on that water. Then people are going to see what I've seen. When you go out there, it's going to stop raining because the. The weatherman said, like, read it. So in a minute, but it's going to... Just wait. When yeah. you get there, when they could hear you, just say, be calm. Hey, and then they're going to believe what the fuck you trying to tell them. He was like, bro, I'm not finna... They don't even say... They sound weird, right? That is what he was acting like. But he tried it. He did. All right, then. Um, OJ Simpson. I said, OJ, I know you know the dude over there, and they doing what the fuck they doing. If you're going to go over there, swap gloves with me. Right. Because if they, because you know how you be fumbling shit. And I you know told him, I was team, like, look, call Kato. So don't Kato, take no blunt with you because you're going to drop that bitch. Me, he hit me up and I was like, I, it I was, was doing ju- something. It was Bob Gloves. And then I told him like, hold on, just swing by here and then go see Kato. Get the fucking that isotone down. off Bob. Yeah. So when you do what you do and you leave the glove because you know how you fumble shit. 
you, I, I mean, you good with what you do, but you a farmer sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. It's pros and cons so, to everything. Yeah, and shit, he did the shit. Yeah. They found the glove because obviously the nigga fumbled. Yeah. Um, I remember. Uh, you remember when we was talking to Hove? What? What? I remember what the fuck. Because then at the little lunch thing. Yeah, and then huh. yeah. was like, hey. I you ready to be? I was but, like, damn, nigga, I ready. I'm yeah, you go. probably you probably want to go this Just direction. Said, it's okay if Rockefeller isn't the same as it was before. You probably kind of mm-hmm. do your own things and move along, and I bet you'll get to where you. Because you've been talking about this Billy for for a long the time. The nigga now. was finna wash dishes at the fucking Red Lobster, but he didn't have to. He was about, but he yeah. didn't have to. Like nigga, yeah, do the Rockefeller saying? shit. I'm, if we didn't give him that advice, the nigga would have been the best dishwasher probably. He said that red lobster in Brooklyn. Best dishwasher, drug dealing dishwasher. And we told him not to do it. Look where the nigga at now. Look at it. Look where the nigga at now. You gotta let it and be. And then I ain't really like how he took our advice though. But we was like, don't do it, bro. And he was like, all right, you ready, B? And then just got up and left <laughs> like that. I ain't really like that for real. I but still though, it worked out for everybody. It worked out for everybody. <laughs> Y'all, this is Reddit on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> It's a part of the show where we find something on Reddit and we help somebody on Reddit with the advice that we have to give about the things that we have read on Reddit. Who's going first? Who's going first? Shit, I'll go first. Let me pull my shit up. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, then. Go for it. Reddit on Reddit number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Oh, my God. Progression from the last episode. Can't, can't you can't well, do. Can't we'll, do. Yeah, there's a couple more this episode. We could try. We could. All right. <laughs> I pretended I was deaf, so I didn't have to talk to the candy seller. Oh shit! <coughs> wow. Oh shit! Why? Just be like, I'm, I'm not like, interested. Man, wait. Why don't be like, no, no, thank you. Yeah, just I don't, I don't need the candy. Talk to your microphone. So she's all. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's fucked up though. You you gotta just tell the motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck y'all? I'm lost. Sign language, man. I don't know none of this shit. I don't know none of this shit. How you sign language when you don't know sign language? Do you think they be mad like how like a person Absolutely. who speaks English? Absolutely. <laughs> Would you not? Absolutely. Bitch, you got like, me you fucked not up. You're not just gonna walk up to me and do some shit like this. Fuck out my face. You're gonna find my man. <laughs> be fucked up. It's like when I watch my shows. They had a, they had a couple who was deaf. She, he was deaf. And the whole time while he's doing his sign language, it was like 90 Day Fiance. He's doing his sign language. They had the, the mic listen to his breathing. Hell so no. Nah. And I'm like, man, turn that shit off. Like, mute that, that shit. shit. So he's all, they like, couldn't oh, mute his Lord fucking Jesus. mic. I don't want to be making fun of him, but Lord, like, why he doing that like that? So the candy like, lady, the candy salesman <laughs> that came to this lady, though, probably a fucking seven year old. Is that just the title? <laughs> yeah, that's just the that's just the title. So so here's what happened. Oh damn. Okay. I was walking into a store and saw a teen going around a parking lot <laughs> selling candy. World's greatest chocolate. I really didn't want to engage with them, so I just kept walking. They approached me and started talking, so I immediately paused and began signing that I was deaf. <laughs> I thought that if I, in, if I indicated I couldn't hear, they would leave me alone. It didn't work. No, they don't sign language. <laughs> they, kept, they kept pushing me and asking if I was interested again. I kept signing indicating I couldn't hear them. Eventually, they gave up, but I still don't feel really good about it. You should yeah, fail. You should. They did, did a bad job at faking. <laughs> fucking God damn. They didn't Terrible. Even believe you wasn't Jeez. deaf for real. You didn't even act deaf. You act like you could hear him and you couldn't talk. Right. <laughs> why not just say no thank you? Like, why you gotta do all that? Yeah. Signing is way more fun. That's why I don't. <laughs> even in like teenagers, man, they don't want to be out here for real, for real. Fuck that. Next Get time them niggas be running around the parking lot talking about they need donations for their church or a baseball team. Yeah, I'm signing. <laughs> I am signing. Get him, get I hope I don't know. God damn it. Nope. Mm-mm. Ask somebody else. And when you deaf, you can't say no. You can't Duh. say no. Why not? Oh, fuck that. They though. not taking the no. You didn't say it. 
Who not? The people that's trying to sell something. No. Yeah, don't do, this. don't do that shit no more. <laughs> don't do that shit no more. Just you, get better you at gonna it. Run, you gonna fuck around and run across the deaf one. Just get better at Learn it. Learn sign language at least. At least no sign yeah. language. Just a few words. That's all you need. It's crazy. At least no sign language. Hey, hey. That's crazy. That's what it is. You can just say no thank you. You can do that. It sounds like somebody got a problem with, with um, do that. social interactions for real. Because like. <laughs> he said he saw him. Like, as soon as he got out the car, like, go to them kids with the kids. Oh, fuck. Let me try to afford this. Right, try that nigga was walking fast through the park. Yeah. You didn't walk fast enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You didn't walk fast they enough. They teenagers. You can't outwalk no teenagers. Shit. Man, all right. Right, they ducking through the cars and shit. Go get him. <laughs> Damn. No, nah, I want to do that. That sounds fun. One time I, uh, I have an uncle... I had, I had a couple of uncles that, that was foolish back in the day. But um, we we pulled up. We were supposed to meet at like a department store. And we already got there. And he had finally pulled up. And then he parked in a handicapped space. But he's not handicapped. He was driving his mom's car. Because hey, we were just all in the, we was all in, I think we was in Denver. We was all at, at my grandma's house. So, he, <coughs> yeah, he, wow. he jumped out with the big limp and limped all the way. Across the parking lot into the store. Oh yeah, you gotta commit to it. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he did. You gotta commit. He did. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna hop out and be deaf. I can't wait. No. I can't wait. This is not a good idea. I can't wait to do it. This I'm gonna do it better than you idea. did. Mine's gonna work. It's great. Right. Hey, it's he probably so saying fun. something every time they saying something. You want some candy? Mm -hmm. As long as my kids ain't with me, cause they snitch. They was... Man, what? <laughs> Nigga, what is you doing? Like you hear them, don't you? But you can't pull up with the music on and shit though. Oh, you yeah, I can, cause you can feel the vibrations. Oh, okay. Stop listening. Good vibration. You in there singing it with shit. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. This nigga ain't yeah. deaf. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I can make bass noises even Don't be singing it though You're gonna be singing it I do the bass The bass line I know all the bass lines That's all I'm with it Y'all wanna act there Mike? Yeah just Just ignore them Or just say no thank you I would I wouldn't do it I would I would just ignore them Or walk past them If I did wanna say nothing But I wouldn't say nothing Yeah I would just ignore them Or walk past them Just say no thank you I would I wouldn't do it I would I would just ignore them Or walk past them If I did wanna say nothing But I would say no thank you You can't just ignore them Do y'all Yeah the fuck you can I mean it depends how aggressive they are Yeah the fuck you can They come at me some kind of way Like I ain't even fooling with you I feel like you even more of an asshole If you just don't say nothing And they're like Hey you wanna buy some candy Hey Hey you wanna buy some candy Right Why never be like no thank you Have y'all ever did I do that before I do the death Yeah maybe not today Anything. Just say said, anything well, now, that Have y'all said no. not today? When when folks no, be asking that, that, That's what I say, yeah. Like, they ask for a donation. Well, they, yeah, hell yeah. When they come to the door. Say anything that means. They go to the, the door like and they today. ring the doorbell, which they don't do that. You know how they I don't, don't tell, tell me not today. Time. Not today. If, just say no. Not today. If a motherfucker approach you yeah. and they look like they finna ask you for something. <laughs> not today. No. <laughs> but yeah, just yeah, when you yeah, walk yeah, in my yeah. direction, he goddamn, gave a pre Noah. Just, no, no. Y'all, y'all weren't here for that. before nope. but yeah, he, I've seen him pre Noah person. They didn't get, <laughs> they didn't get, they didn't finish their stride to him if, or their sentence began. None, none of that happened before he was, he was like, like nope. nope. You could tell this motherfucker nope. finna ask you for something. Yeah, you, you finna did. ask you, for something. Yes, nope. we could tell. I ain't got nothing for yes, you. Yes, they were. See, yeah, I do. I do be like it was just for no, a light you, though. No. It was not for. A, it was for a lighter after I said no. God damn it! And then it was for something else. You know, it was for something else before it was for a lighter. She said, "Oh, I got one in the car. Mr. the car is right here." God damn it! <laughs> Next to him. Yeah, it was for something else. But she said no. Like never mind. Said, you got a lighter. Yeah. Window was open this much. The nigga said no. Nope. I'm saying. God damn. Okay. We well, sitting in the car. I laughed so we hard. We sitting in the car. A motherfucker get out of their car, walk to the front of their car, which is parked next to mine. Now, they went to the doors of the store and then came they back. They turned back around and stood there and looked in, right in my motherfucking face. Yeah. And yeah. Shit, once you make this motion, God damn it, yeah, no. And, and we was at here. the Chevron on Master Lake. Don't come over here. So, there's that, too. Y'all was good. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, no. There's that too. That probably matters. Nothing for you, goddamn it. No dealers. Jeez. Oh no, I just wanted a lighter. It's, I bet you did. Yeah, I bet you did. You was finna ask me for whatever the fuck you was finna go in the store for, goddamn. Right? <laughs> Could you give me some money so I get me a, Man, a beer okay, bro. Right. and a lighter and some wings on the side? <laughs> no, this bitch need four hundred dollars, so. <laughs> he He wanna do nothing. <laughs> she wanna try to get a grip. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, you ready? Reddit on Reddit. Number two. Number two. Number two. I said that. Yeah, that's the boo button. That's the boo button. She has been booed. I said no. No, no, no. You, as a matter of fact, don't worry about the next one. You just keep it silent. Just mute. Just. It did on the okay. next one, all right? Okay. When we when we read it on Reddit, another number, all right, so you I'll don't like number it. You don't, like nah, you don't got to count that high. Don't yeah. even worry about it. We good. We got it. I ain't realized this was so long. That's what you always I'm, do. I'm going to pick this on the floor. You ready? Or you, you going to look for another nah, one? No, we number? got it. All um, right. Can someone help me, please? <laughs> I'm saying it. Will we, hey. No, bitch. Asking for advice. No, nah, that's what we're here for. About a dream job offer. And I have too many dilemmas. Yeah, take that shit. Leave everything else behind. You that's know. all I've read. That's all you read. Advice so about far, that's a all dream I read. job offer, and I have take too it. many dilemmas. Take, you know, take, it. Fuck take it. Take the job. Take it. <laughs> the dream job will fucking outweigh the dilemmas. Take It'll the clear job. them up. Man, I don't okay. know. What if the dream depends. job like intensifies the dilemmas? But how? That's what I'm thinking. Unless you can't, not, this shouldn't be your dream job. That doesn't mean that can't be your it dream. It be circumstantial, though. I need more information. Oh, yeah. I need more information before I can make my job. Scroll through, scroll through. For the most part, I'm, I'm going to say. What if you want to be like the top the security job. guard in a museum and they offered you the job Story. finally? That's Maybe not, no not dream to you. Job. You don't know what their dreams is. I was the security guard and then in the space. You just found out that you got gout <laughs> or diabetes type two or something, and you can't walk around like you need to. Yeah, this your dream and that's your dream job. Yeah, you got to change your, your dream job is what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, just, they want to walk around. Now they can't. They got the limb. That's the dilemma. They can't walk. They, they, they got gout. Thank you. It ain't in a dream job no more. It's time for another dream. It's still their dream job. It ain't. It ain't gonna work. That it, ain't, no it ain't. It ain't. It ain't. You can't yeah. do this. Y'all just change their dream. That ain't a dream. dilemma. Now that ain't. But that's what you gotta do. <laughs> that ain't a dilemma no more. This is something you can't do. All right. So either take the job or change your dream. That's what we're getting from the top. There you go. Take All the right. job. Change. All right. Dream. Let's see what's popping. But what if the dilemma is? Like him leaving his wife or family or his mother right. or something on the sick bed. Like, fuck that bitch. That could be a Get dilemma. It, could, it ain't necessarily <laughs> gotta be a bad dilemma. <laughs> fuck but that why, bitch. Why fuck them kids. Like he circumstantial. Fuck them all. How many mouths do I really need to feed he to can stay take alive? His wife with him. His parents. Yes. Yeah, but well, what if he can't though? That, no, that, that would be the, the dilemma. dilemma. Let's see what's going yeah, on. Let's see what. Let's see what's going on. If I'm in the wrong tub to ask this, I apologize. I don't I don't know what the fuck that means. The subgroup, I'm ready. Okay, then. I have an opportunity for a job on the railroad. Okay. Um, so you're not as exciting as y'all thought, As huh? crazy as it seems, mm-hmm. it's still a dream of mine. Ha. I recently got my first <laughs> DUI in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, so look. It was yeah. no reckless driving, oh, no boy. swerving or anything. Oh, boy. It's over, girl. It's just boy, happenstance. It's oh, happenstance. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's over. Happenstance. <laughs> after being pulled over for an expired tag, he Fine. got a DUI. Find a new dream. My court case is you coming can't. up in February. Nope. I'm nervous to follow through with my railroad job opportunity. Ain't no railroad opportunity, no. Because I am, I know the possible consequences. Uh, you know you guilty, nigga. Man, <laughs> what? There's no. There's the no advice job. I am asking for is, should I follow through on the job? Use a fake name. Or wait, <laughs> considering the possible obstacles in the future with the time management. Oh, or do you man. think the court would be fine with traveling states? They not. They taking not. A, taking into the fact of the job. They not. Let it go. Uh, you you fucked up. No, nah, that yeah yeah. <laughs> she fucked up or he? They fucked up. They fucked I mean, up. I, it, it, How you, you can't you do can't. the railroad? Just be like, nah, bitch, you can't have nothing. <laughs> yes, do it. Yeah, because they, they drive through the nights. They they drive through the nights, so you, you do have gotta to be, be licensed of some sort. Yeah, sure. yeah, but you you, you gotta, can't get licensed. You, you gotta, gotta drive this bitch. If you got a DUI, you can't get licensed. If you got court dates, you can't be on the railroad. So you get a, a fucking a sick day or something. It don't but work yeah, like no, that. he want to know if he should take the job now. He or if he should up. wait until after he go to court and wait shit you go to, court, to apply you, for the job. Because you got many court days. Or he, he could do both. Because they might do a continuance. I'm going to apply for the job now. I'm, so this shit ain't on your record already when you apply for the job. Because if you apply, if you wait, yeah. and then you get guilty and all that shit, yeah. then you Reckon. apply. Nigga, you got a fresh DUI right, right here. Right now. Right. Nigga, look what showed up yesterday. I feel like that's going to look bad. That's going to look worse than that will, that, while you own the job. 
And then like, nah, I got some court shit from before I got the job. It's yeah. Been a, yeah. No, because I I've, I had to travel back and forth between states for court. Like it wasn't it wasn't from here to Tennessee. Like I had to travel. You got to get out of to, here. Yeah, to go to it court. Ain't fun, and the, is it? the courts was like mad. Like they wasn't trying to like let they me were do like you to, like to like work. we inconvenienced them. Like yo, yeah, we live outside of state. Like. Are you understanding? Yeah, so we got to travel they, here. They'll probably... They, they you act got like to, you see it there's a lot, As long as you paying money and you showing up when they tell you to be there, for the most part, the court's going to be all right with whatever your schedule is as far as how your representation and you set up whatever y'all got going on in court. And like he said, the child don't need to know shit about none of that. Did they ask you that shit yesterday? I, I got the last a, time you talked to them? I got a few requirements that I, that I see that to be able to be a trained... Okay. Um, a train conductor. Uh, ability to lift 75 pounds. Okay, then. Possess a valid driver's license. Okay. Uh, be able to obtain a valid driver's license within 30 days of being hired. If not, um, have no so more. So you ain't got to have that bitch right now. So have more than one for cause German, uh, job termination within seven years. You can't have oh, lost a job. Can't one time. Yeah. And here's right. the last one. Have no instances of driving under the influence I, get DUI the here, with then. the last two years. I, it's over with. <laughs> you gotta get, he, get, he innocent till proven guilty. You better try for the well, job, shit. man. And she had work for it. You know, the last that's two true. Years. Yeah, if you really want it, just go for it. If you yeah. Yeah, if you miss it, you, you miss it. You try. Hey, up. You already know if you do it afterwards and that shit on there. It's hope you got a good lawyer. Shit, all right. Her up. Yeah, that's our advice. Like, yeah, like quick. Ande, ande. Right arriba, there, arriba. Hey, turn this shit off. <laughs> at, at the bob, and yeah, after we do the rest of it, turn this shit off. Yeah. And go apply for the job, like yeah. right now. Because, um, come, when yeah, he got to go to court, when he got to go to court, I think he said he got damn it. See if I can find out when he got to go to Hurry court. Hurry up, because you going quick enough. Hurry up. February. You to, yeah, you um, got to come go. Come February, oh, it's going to be it over up. for you. We December? Yeah, it's it's going to be over yeah. for you in February. You better yeah, get on that. Yeah. You better have a deal. Don't you apply have and then call him the next day and like do that kind of thing Nick, about the show job. Up like in it, the train, yeah. conduct the suit. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Make Dress it sound. For the woo, job woo. You want, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Woo, woo. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to the part. interview, everybody. Everybody, take your seats. I feel, I feel. <laughs> We're I feel great to about be here. 30, 45 minutes. I, I got something special for you today. <laughs> Who likes chocolate? Right. Everybody like chocolate? Here you go. Have a piece of chocolate. Right. right. Yeah. If it's not the one right now, you know. don't need to worry about she it. I got a DUI do case out here. It'll be here about two months. Shit. Nah. Nah. Uh, yeah. Go get the job, man. Yeah, you better hurry up. <laughs> hurry up. Better hurry. Stop DUI around this bitch, too. DUI. That'll get you fucked up. Yeah, stop typing where you should be applying. I man, you shouldn't even type this shit. Mm-hmm. I you should I hope you already applied. I'm glad you typed it so we could give you the best advice that you could receive. Go Hurry up. They got them jobs. Hurry the fuck up. Bob, what you got for us today? All right, it's time. It's time. Reddit on Reddit number, number three. three. Number, number three. three. Number three. three. Number three. <laughs> you gotta be sure. She couldn't even hold it in. She was gonna, she was gonna just not do it. She couldn't hold it in. No. Just because I said don't do it, I she had to do it. it. I gotta do it. Hey, hey. All right. Um, the title is My Wife Had a Miscarriage and I'm Struggling. Damn. You're struggling? Whoa. I bet everybody's struggling. Whoa. You're struggling? He can be struggling too, though. Yeah. Not as much, but he can be struggling because he lost. He didn't say I'm struggling more. Yeah, he said I'm struggling. You're struggling. (laughs) Oh. Try having a dead baby inside your stomach. You're not struggling. (laughs) What? Well, never mind. He's not struggling. But he didn't say. He just said he's struggling. Right. You're right. He's struggling. I was gonna say because I, I I've had a miscarriage so, and I you know what I'm saying we can talk you about had it. A miscarriage? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Not, not you're the girl, but you're the boy. Yeah, it's still part of it. Sure. Yeah, it's still part absolutely. of the still part of the situation. though. No, I didn't say physically. Right, no, 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 I'm saying you can be part of it. The it's mic can't hear you. You got talking to the mic. I said you can be part of. You can definitely be part of it. But I mean, there's. I mean, I, and I'm not saying you saying you feel the same way she feels, but you can definitely be part of it. But. Continue on. He's struggling. So what else? No, man. Okay. Yeah, because that, that Mike, Mike, what comes to mind 
with this title for you? That, I mean, oh, I just I, just to say kind of what she was saying, just because he's he's stressing doesn't say that he's stressing more than she is. And we know there's more physical stressors on a woman and it is a man. But there are a lot of mental woes on a man losing a child. You know what I mean? And that's his wife's child too. So there's oh, a lot there's a lot behind that. So I definitely get it, that. You know, it's a different it's a different do, do, different trauma. Sure. I do for both when they're like when it's when they're I I get that. Oh yeah, I get that. The, the, the guy is gonna feel sad too. I get that because he lost a kid. But it's, you know, it's, it's Do y'all do See, y'all I believe think, the, I think we should be able to say as a man, I feel sad. Yeah. And and no and leave that at that and not it be but what about how oh, she no. feel too or, or Oh, are you no, struggling? No, I think, but I think how he, the, he can feel what, sad. Yeah, but, oh, I feel that. Uh, you can, he can't I, struggle. I, I, I always feel the butt when you say that. Yeah, no, nah, me too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can feel struggle. the butt. Oh, I feel he, he can be sad all day, every day. But, but exactly. I, he can feel sad all day, oh, every day. Oh, <laughs> it shouldn't be no yourself. butt right I did, did I say butt? Did again. I say butt? No, he can feel sad all day, every day. I feel that. I feel that. He he Because he has a connection, too. Yeah. Oh, you did good that time. <laughs> right. It's hard. You can tell it's you hard. It's hard. Too. That's wild. What that's do y'all? Do y'all? How do y'all feel about the, crazy. the people that say that the men are pregnant with the woman? Do you agree but or say, disagree? But say, I, I agree because I share the journey with her as well. I may not have carried a child, but I still share the journey. Just like oh, uh, lo- losing losing somebody in your life. Like, let's say the child is born. Like, if the child dies, you don't say somebody agrees more. You right. know, I mean, it's still y'all's child together no matter how you look at definitely, it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a good definitely. point. That's a good point. Nobody does say oh, that no, no, when, no. when, I, the, when I, the baby's I actually born, when, regardless of if it's premature both or how feel old that. it gets yeah. or how small Yeah, both it parents is. feel that. But I feel like when it's inside the womb, and the child passes in the womb. The mom definitely feels more than the father. But I mean, is he, a miscarriage only does does that mean? And forgive my ignorance. Does that does that mean that the child actually ceased to live while still inside of a woman? Basically, yes. It, it, it yeah, that doesn't happen the, when it the comes out. He, at he all. doesn't. It's I, like a but at the same birth. time, I feel like it's okay. yeah. So, but that means it was a miscarriage. But my opinion with the miscarriage I is, I feel like don't come at don't come saying, oh, I lost my baby at six seven weeks. Don't do that because I feel like your baby was just a, your, your baby. They got to be passed. It wasn't. It wasn't even the baby for real. It that's, was, okay, see, that, that's a whole nother. That happened. Don't start yeah. this. Don't no, do. I'm like that. That ain't. That I, I, whole. I agree with the like uh, that. That one. You had to put a thing. disclaimer on this one. Right, right. <laughs> I had a, um, this is for entertainment purposes. <laughs> <laughs> I was, that was, I was, was a whole different time. Very easily one of the people that would be like I. I assumed that there was so much of a separation between the experience that a dude and a woman would have while she yeah, was pregnant. I, pre- oh, I didn't put old, those things I'm a together. I pregnant and but I lost my baby and I'm sick. When, no. But during the times feel? when uh, my, my children's mother was pregnant, there was shit that I that had, I couldn't explain it to you to this day. Like, I, I never liked peanut butter. One of them pregnancies, all I did was eat peanut butter crackers. With some like, non-stop. <laughs> or, nah, it was, that's, it was a couple of things I did start eating in that that was a little bit off. Like that's not no, and I've never eaten it again. Like there's some there's some stuff that had even being in the you feel what they feel even being in the room uh, during the pregnancy and having to help the amount that I had to help because of how shit went and shit. Like there's a lot that goes into. The males part that will never get acknowledged because they are double. Yeah, I think you should. You're love, right. I think you should. Hey, I think you should because you, you there. You there because I feel. I feel like the ones that are there and I, actually, I'm holding actually people see up them there. there like, like you, you are there. Is, is, the ones who are there do, throughout the pregnancy that see what's going on. You're there. Um, the ones that that are just like, oh, well, whatever you want, I give it to you. You know, I'm not there. Who they don't see them growing. They don't see all that stuff at all. I feel like they're they they don't have no room to talk. But the ones that are actually there that see what a female goes through while she's pregnant i would like, assume since it's his wife that them he has something but let's see let's see what he got let's see what he talking about mm-hmm. all right uh says i'm struggling with this loss and i feel lost myself her friends and our families have all real uh rallied around her and we've given her support through it all which she of course deserves but i feel like i'm in the background like i'm experiencing this loss too this is this was my baby too and even if I wasn't the only one caring, I can't talk about this to anyone without feeling guilty. She's wanting to get a ring with our daughter's birthstone along with one for what would have been the baby's birthstone. This baby's birthstone. So I guess they, they have a daughter already. 
um, but the most current baby was the miscarriage. So she wants to get a ring with the daughter's birthstone and the, the miscarried child's birthstone. Um, he said he's been thinking about doing something similar, but he doesn't know what he can do. And he says he works in fire, but he like a ring rings, it, too, but he's not sure what to do. Or, or So he says, what do we recommend for him to figure out? I guess he's trying to figure out what, what can he do to con- commemorate as well without looking like he's trying to step on her because men can't have emotions, feelings, or experiences no, without he can have without it emotional. That, but you, without but it he can have it. He can get a tattoo because you know experience. firefighters can't really wear rings or jewelry at all. So he can get a tattoo if he doesn't like a tattoo. No, he said he works in fire. I, I, do you think that that man was a I firefighter? Was I would think. I mean, men, I if, work he, if he works in fire, he's probably a firefighter. Like you gotta be a firefighter. You can't wear rings. Are you they, a they fire can't. starter? I just. Want I assume to he meant like he like he's a, a blacksmith or like a metal worker or something. Like he fire? works with fire. And, well, still no. Or he could even be a glass with welding, I guess he even could work with fire. Even yeah. with welding, you can't wear. He said fire. In fire. He said in fire. But you can't wear jewelry because you can't wear jewelry. So in fire. You can't wear jewelry. I feel like this is firefighter. He he can probably he can get a tattoo. No. He can get a tattoo. Who can wear jewelry? Firefighters and stuff. They can't. Yeah, wear, see, they don't that's wear why he's talking about but getting like, a ring to wear. Though. But if he wants, so to, that's but not he, what it if is. you work with fire, you can't. You wear cannot a wear a ring. Yeah, so he can. he can put yeah, on a chain. Yeah, no, I feel like that motherfucker no. get real hot. They don't. No, they're not. No, doing. they're not allowed to wear rings. They're not allowed to wear rings. They're not allowed to wear. Not firefighters. But in, even in welding, things like that, they could, even with the welding, because well, of the, welding, you're going to have a big ass glove on. Because they yeah. can, and shit can get caught, but still. Yeah, and yeah, in those yeah. things, they're not supposed to wear a jury, period, but they can't if they do. Whatever he does, to. he's speaking as if he can wear jewelry and okay. he's thinking about putting he, he on a can, ring okay. well he needs to either get a chain but now he don't want to because she get fire ring. for no reason he needs to get a chain I think it's because he can make the ring that's he, what I got from it okay he can, in I my mind this nigga was like that. I can make the fucking ring I didn't, I didn't I wanna, just make a set of them motherfuckers because he ain't trying to step on her shit but because everybody been going to her and helping her and supporting her and looking out for her and seeing that she okay and he over here feeling the pain and he want to do something else so he can goddamn heal the way he can he like I work in fire I can but do it, this. It do. It kind of sound like her family is there for her, and he might not have no family and nobody to be there for him for real. Yeah, and he kind of feels out there about that. Now he said their friends and family, like both of their fr- sets of friends and both of their families, have been rallying around her, I and think, he doesn't want to make her feel some okay, kind of so way or make it seem like he hating. But he also wants to figure out how to commemorate. The loss. He can get a tattoo commemorated that way. I think. I that think makes it, sense. that is an option. You're not talking in pineapple. <laughs> I think. I think it goes to where kind of what she said, and then what um, you said, Bob, and, and and me said that you said the woman felt it more. And I think he's screaming that exactly what you're saying because us men aren't allowed to express ourselves because he can't take. Because if he said, well, what about me while his wife is suffering? You would have been like, well, I'm suffering more. Yeah. So with that aspect, I think this is the underlying issue of this whole situation that men, even though we we aren't. We are perceived to di- uh, grieve differently from it, but it can't be more. It can't be just as then, even though I think men grieve differently than women. People grieve differently. So I yeah. think that's the underlying tone is kind of the, the mentality of, well, I carry the baby, so I suffer more. Right. I think that's not healthy because he At even all. feels he it, can't do it because they support him. And if he steps in, and if he steps in, and if he steps in, he's taking her light. Right. And then and then being inconsiderate of her pain because I'm supposed to be a man and just man up and take yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, they're supposed to be great but I don't, but together. Do, do you like think y'all feel real. as men, do you think you feel equally the same as a woman who's carrying the baby when you lose the baby, if you lose the baby? Well, that's the thing that, that and that literally is what keeps being the particular hurdle about this conversation. Still. No, at no point do the majority of men who are worth having a conversation with at all say I feel as equally I mean, of course or not. I feel the yeah. same because or I feel Facts. more because you they, don't they literally just say how they feel but as soon as that happens you can't say it, how you feel there's, no. it be, it's, it's like you know what it's like it's like if you if somebody gets to talking about Jewish people in the Holocaust and then somebody's like but slavery that's what happens with the conversation. And if a man that and the man would be the Jewish person in the Holocaust in that comparison, a metaphor, not the best one, but just a quick one to be extreme. The man is, yeah, I I went through some shit, and then the black people is the woman, yeah, but you ain't go through it like we went. Through Put it. yourself in the in her position. Do you think that you physically as a man are gonna feel 
the equally or even nearly There's the no same. There's no way to know but that. But do you, if you lost, you're, you're, car- you're not carrying the child. But not, so yeah, the but child's that, in your body. That's, that's, that's speak, not really that the point. Yeah, the question yeah, is, can you feel more? Can like, you put you want, your, of, of course you might feel more. You might feel worse. And physically, and absolutely. You might not, but that's but not I know he wants to commemorate. At the same time, though, the, the only point is, no matter how bad the man feel, if he mentioned the shit for real... Is coming away from how bad you. It ain't really that. Got that no, I don't think that this, should be. It ain't it. Got you didn't say that though. Yeah. Feel no, no. I, I don't think that should stop him from being able to do what he wants to do to commemorate the loss of his child. But it will though. But just no. shut up about but, it. But no, 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 no. <laughs> just shut up no, and make no, no, it rain. No, no, Get a tattoo. Just shut up. Don't we can't talk up, about it. Yeah. Don't shut up about it. Like you can. I mean, you can. There's ways to say it because you have to think that even though no society the way it is. Even though he's the father and he didn't physically carry the child and he's not feeling the child inside of him, but he did lose the child, he can still, you know, get a tattoo, get a ring, get something to commemorate the child. And that might make the mother feel better. But at the same time, I'm not saying don't express yourself because I want I want my man to express. I want you to cry. I want you to show me your feelings. Show me your emotion. Show me that shit. And I'll take care of you. Show me that shit. I I, I want that. I feel like I, I got a question for uh, so so with that saying so but early don't you have a stance of saying that well because I carried a child I've suffered more oh the, as a woman that's what you, that's, that's no, your stance as a, as you put a, a female, bike around there you as a female yeah definitely I feel like she of course suffered more because you don't understand when you're carrying a child you have that child connected to you. A man does not have that child connected inside of him. He's got the emotions, the feelings, but he's not physically feeling that child kick. That child is not physically kicking. That child is not physically taking out his energy out of his body. You're not physically feeding that child because you're a man. As a woman, you're feeding now that like, child. Ooh, no more kicking and you can't eat me no more. So you're, you're, you're doing a whole lot as a woman for a child, but a man, yes, he feels when he loses a child, Yes, by all means, it shouldn't be diminished. He lost that child. But it is I'm being diminished saying, as soon as you say more, because as soon as you say more, it's less than. As soon no, as you say, as soon as you say more, more but she I, has more feeling with that. So child. you expect more. So that's what I'm saying. So, so more. should a man be catered to in the situation before the woman, or should the man be catered to before? No, definitely exactly not. my point. Because not now, before. now, now, I challenge that to reverse. You say we're supposed to see it from your angle as a woman, but we're asking you now and today to see it from our angle, not yours. I see it from your angle. I see well, how then, you feel. You're hurt, but see it from my see it from my angle. Be me. No, we me. know, you, but we know you physically. Like he said, everybody knows that. We never will know the physicality of carrying a child, but the emotional value when you say, well, I carried a baby, so that means it's more. It means it's my emotional value right. is less than so here, because you carried the a baby. It's not less it, than, it, but it's not equal that's to, what more, but That's it's what it's more means. Too, but it's not but less that's than. when you say hold, more is what the message hold on, gives. Hold on, let me jump in. Here, here's the thing, right? So speaking to, to what you're saying, which makes complete sense, there's... An entity that's literally feeding off of your body inside of you. There's no way that we could, unless we like got enough tapeworms to name or something. I don't know how we could get close to Mr. having Mom. some type of <laughs> some type of feeling like that. So yes, that changes the level that you could try to compare each of these humans' experience to. But this is this is where you have to try to figure out how you balance that difference out because the only way that a man can be connected is through the ways he's connected lacking the ones that you can he can't be he can't feel a, an entity feeding off of him he can't feel when it's heartbeat first beat or or it making you gassy or it do it all the shit he can't feel none of the none of the kicks none of the rubs is it turned around none of that shit he can't feel none of that but because he can't feel that that space in Empathy or understanding gets filled up with something, and that's all that he has. So the same way that you lost everything that was in this space, even though some of it was physical, some of it was emotional, and we'll never get the physical part, all that space for us was emotional. And there's no way that you'll get how that much of it was all in our brain and soul to experience at a moment and lose that experience too. Just like we won't understand the way it felt physically as well as emotionally or mentally. There's never going to be an even comparison because we're taking up mm-hmm. the same amount of space with different things. I hear you. I hear you. So right. it's not equal so to you could always thing. say more or e- 
equal to, but the man usually doesn't present it that way. But as soon as he presents any feeling, if it's met with a comparison, then it dismisses how he feels. No, I don't feel like it's I don't, like I said, there's no equal to or less than if you have a feeling, say the feeling. But you're what you feel. Yes, I'm going to feel sorry and I, I'm going to empathize with you, sympathize with you. I'm going to be there for you because I want you to express your feelings. But you're not no matter what your emotions are. You're not going to feel the way it feels to have a child connected inside of you. And I understand that your level of emotional. Coll- why, uh, why that comparison even got to be? Even why, be it's not a but compar- you keep saying, but. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's not, it's not, and that's it's how the females compar- do. It's always yeah. a but. You're right. You're right. Like, you're I know right. you it's feel bad. But, and I know. But no, it's I, lo- I love for it's you to have but. emotions. <laughs> and I love for you to feel a certain way. I hear you. I hear you. I want you to feel this way. And it's the way we feel because we have to carry that child. We have That child has to grow inside of us. So I'm not diminishing. Okay, you feel less than we feel. I'm just saying that, that yo, we don't. Children can you, be taken out and be brought to fruition. And you're right; they can like be and not so be cared for, not anything like that. No, I mean, like cool. in the hospital, you could bring a baby up from way before they should have been out of the womb and still have a, a healthy child you that can. lives and lasts. And both the parents you can. I'm can not be there diminishing the way the dude stuff. feels. I'm not. I'm not saying he shouldn't have any feelings. I want, like I said, I want him to express his feelings to me. But at but the same you're time, just sure like that I your said, feelings are more. I'm not saying. You, I, I'm, I'm saying <laughs> it's at the same time, you're going, always you're going, a but. But you're going through more. But I cannot lie. You're going to have your feelings and your emotions. I understand that. Let's just base it on emotion. Then let's let's just do the conversation. Only emotion, no physical. It's only emotion. Emotion. Is it equal? I'm not saying. Then that you'd have to say the man is more. Is it equal? The man is more. Yeah. No, I said it's not. It's not. Let's no, if you it. base it only on emotion and if you take out the emotion, physical, then it's. If we base it on emotion, take out the physical. I'm not gonna sit here and say the man is more is more emotionally mm. unsafe because you got to think about some of the, some of the ways that these men are. Some men are not even involved. <laughs> oh hell. <laughs> some men are not oh, even hell. involved. That's not what we talking about. He's but here. The ones, he's involved. The ones that are involved, I'm saying, if you're there and you feel you you see your female upset you feel it you feel it you're there you're having emotion i i agree with you express yourself never hold your feelings in. i don't want to do the hold their feelings in. i don't want them to think that their feelings but mean if nothing. your feelings will be met with something that makes you feel less than or makes you feel but, like your feelings no didn't why really does it have to much? be that your feelings are met than less than if i'm telling you that i want you to tell me your emotions i don't care if you're if, if i don't care if i feel like my feelings are more tell me your emotion Tell me you feel but, bad. So I tell can tell you, you don't care. But I'm not this is how I'm I feel. Gonna, but I carry the baby. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. say that. That's all we going to hear. But I'm yeah. not going no, to be like, okay, yo, you feel like this, but you didn't carry it. No, I'm not. Yeah. You I just said that earlier, though. That's what you've been saying. I want to. That's your stance. That's not my stance. That's what you've been saying. Y'all going through more because y'all carry the child. It's the more. But we're going through more, but I'm not telling you. I don't want you to tell me. We're going through more, but I don't want you to not tell me. But if we tell you, okay, let me ask you this question do you think do you think women do you think women tell men this in this situation (laughs) that well but i carry the baby at some point meaning whether it's irritation whether it's just y'all both grieving and y'all angry or just you know just don't know how to maybe you grieve differently like some people accept it on different timelines right so i'm just saying do you my question is do you think women say this more or less than what you're saying and not say it they yeah. might. I never said it. I never. Well, no, said no. This it. isn't a personal but, act. But you know, no, I'm, I'm saying, saying generally. They might do you think say, women? They might say. Oh, they'll probably say. Okay, I carried the baby, so I have more of a feeling or connection than you do. So you're not hurt. But you also have to sit there and say you got to listen to everybody's side. Dudes do have emotions, which I I've a hundred and thousand. I have always advocated for dudes spilling your guts out you want to cry Don't cry do shit. no i have cry, cry i'm not gonna hold it against you You got a problem tell me let me know what's going on talk to me i have never said don't say i am an advocate for dudes expressing their feelings left and right i do not like it when a, when a female makes a dude feel weak because he's expressing his feelings because that's the same thing that you bitch about that you want them to do so I don't like that. So I'm not saying that because if you have in this situation a miscarriage that tell your dude, oh, I did. I carried it. So I feel more. I'm just saying, yeah, feeling wise, they may feel more. But I'm not saying express yourself in that way. Like, hey, your feelings don't matter. Don't be like my your feelings are lesser than mine. Once make, you make, say that, though, the feelings yeah. don't matter. And that's what but the but means. Exactly. Your feelings don't matter. The but gonna come every time so, for real. It's not I, I don't think every time this is, this is what my assumption is about how it would generally be. There's there's gonna be a period of time where both people are gonna be understanding of each other's um so, and again, I haven't gone through this personally, but I I do know a fair amount of females that I've had long conversations with this about 
and a couple dudes actually too that that have lost children. But um, I from from what I gather, I would assume that initially both people would be trying their best to figure out how to deal with it and figure out how to help each other deal with it. At some point, though, just because of these double standards we brought up a few times this episode, there's going to be a point in time where the dude is going to be looked at like, all right, bro. All right, bro, that's enough. Nah, yeah, like, man. You, Why you, you crying you're still moping shit, around. Go make some money. Go get to it. You need to. You're supposed to be Who's the strength. You're supposed to be the rock. You got another child. He said he had. they have a child together already right. before this one. You got a daughter that you... But come on, like, I'm the one that really carried this motherfucker and it's really sad. Like, get your shit together. You're supposed to be a man. And that's really... What's not being said right now, but really what all that but leads to and how the man will end up being in a lot of scenarios. And that's that's but why this conversation has gone on for so long. And says that and thinks that and doesn't doesn't take into consideration the, the dude's feelings. I take I take into consideration everybody's feelings. I'm not saying that. Yeah. Yes. She, I, I believe she feels more than what the man does. But at the same time, like I said, I don't think you should diminish how the man feels because he lost the child. I didn't, I never said, I don't think you should diminish that. Everybody's feelings have feelings. But at the same time, like I said, Is it going to be a point care. in time where you tired of him? If you both no, still I'm sad. Not, I'm not going to be tired because grieving is grieving. Everybody, everybody grieves and everyone's grieving lasts however long they feel. So I'm never going to sit there and say, oh, you get the fuck up, go to work. I'm grieving more because I, I it was inside of me. I'm never going to say that because I'm not going to. I don't know how you're feeling inside right. as far as grieving. Go. I don't know how. Now, that's feeling, if he how comes to you. you during this initial period of time where you we all are both grieving and trying to figure this out. And he says, because you're his wife, y'all have a family together already, even though this addition didn't work out the way that y'all had planned. And he comes to you and he says, hey. I know there's a lot going on right now. We're both dealing with a lot. I can't imagine how you're feeling right now. And, but um, I feel like our families and our friends are giving you a lot more support than I'm getting. And I'm not sure how to deal with this right now or what to do. Does that make you feel like now I have to be like, hold on, my nigga? Or does that make you feel like I should tell everybody they need to support him just as much as me? I would feel like I need to tell everybody they, they need to support support us both. Like I don't want to just be the I don't want to be the only one getting and <laughs> from anything that's involved. Like just it, as much as you. For me, I I feel like at that time, like we we both did lose a child. Yes, I carried. Yes, I feel. But they're more, already supporting you, though. You but not. they're already supporting. You still said both. They're already supporting yeah, they're you. Are, they're supporting me already. But I want them to hey yo extend that yo let him know like with shit that happens on with my kids that I've I've told them like yo. You understand that he went through this too. He did this. He went through this just like me. So support him also. So I've said that before. I've, I like I said, I advocate for dudes because I feel like dudes are put in a position to where if they don't show, if they show emotion, they look like pussies. But no, I feel like yo, show your damn emotion. Show it. You got an issue. Shit happen. We 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 are people. And I've told my family before. Hey, yo, he went through this too. Support him. He he did this too. It was both of us. Support him also the same way you're supporting me. So I've never been like, okay, yo, I'm getting on support because of what's gone through through me and you don't give no. Support him also. So I've done that shit. I that that to me, I feel like like I said, I can I can have my opinion on how I feel like females, you know, yeah, they carry <laughs> themselves. They they are the ones who take care of stuff. But at the same time, I still don't want a dude to sit here and be left out and feel like, yo. I can't explain. I can't. Ex I can't express myself because I'm gonna be called a pussy. I'm gonna be called a bitch. No. All right. So we're, where are we at with the advice? You got a final word for him? Get a tattoo. I guess get a tattoo. Shut the fuck up about this shit. <laughs> Don't nobody care about you. <laughs> <laughs> and so get your no wife the ring you. and shit. Like surprise your wife with the ring. Yeah. yeah. Try again. Now the wife was already getting two ring, a ring, two different rings. Or one with two different birthstones. Yeah, I'm saying, but she, she already, got it just so he can go to get going. it and surprise her with it. I yeah. got it for y'all already. And yeah. I got this little tattoo. Yeah, this, this mine came with it for free because I got yours. So Man, I just okay. went ahead and got it. <laughs> it was the two for one. I yeah, went ahead yeah. and got me. I figured it'd be fine because you got yours. You know what I'm saying? Mine just regular. Man, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You got it. But I like yours, though. That shit fire. Man, that wait. shit fire. Both the dark. Both up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the same one. Yeah, yeah, the same yeah. one. <laughs> get the same one. Yeah, fuck that. His ring going to be this thin. Get, get this, <laughs> nah, I'm <laughs> saying with both with the diamonds, it's both stones. Man. Yeah, um, I, yeah. 
I, I think uh, whatever your gut instinct, your initial instinct, whatever you think you want to look at for the longest, what matters to you the most about your child is what you should do. And fuck your wife and anybody else that got anything to say about it. Hey. That was your child. You do what you want with it. And if you work in metal and you can make shit, goddamn. You know, I, I meet a nigga working metal, goddamn. Man, I ain't. Greg, where you at, Greg? Shit. Get you a ring out this bitch. <laughs> make a ring, I'll Greg. Pull that Greg. pull back up. I got some seal. I'm going to make me a spoon. See? Hey, right. I, 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 I want to see it happen. Yeah. Like Come for you or for your A silver just, spoon. Just, just spoon. No, it's he just bougie. The, yeah, just to have it. I got the little silver. I, I got my little. I got my silver spoon. Got my name on it. My date of birth and everything. Yeah, we not talking about you go to DC and get a little silver spoon. Oh no, no, no. this is uh, artificial. Like my parents did this shit when we was in Italy. Oh, so. you went to Italy and got a spoon. <laughs> okay, then. yeah, we all got we got <laughs> spoons with our names. I got a statue from Italy. Everything, so. <laughs> like maybe like a forty fifty gram spoon. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we yeah. all got that shit. See what's happening? All right. Now. Yeah, Just, that's that's my advice. Do what you do. What you you work in metal? Figure out what you want to do. Do some Damascus ring. Got to make a silver ring. Shit. Platinum. Nah, mix Damascus. it with some other shit. <laughs> Drop a jewel shit. in there with the fixings and the fittings and the, the, do what the fuck you want to do, goddamn, so that you will be at peace and be able to continue on and be a good father to the daughter that you do have and a good husband to the wife that don't really care about how you feel right uh, now. Why you got to say it like that? She don't give a fuck. Why you got to say it like that? Because she's not in the space to... To do that, and that's it is, also that's okay. It's gonna be. That is true. She probably is not in the space. That's right also now okay. Like, the, like I didn't know about postpartum like a motherfucker. Yeah, I didn't that really know about that. Right. Yeah, that shit real as hell. That shit real as hell. Holy shit! It definitely is. I ain't go through, but it's Watch that. Jeez. I was excited. What should? What should you the tattoo? Tattoo it up. Ink needles and ink will save your life and your marriage. Every time. Every time. Needles ain't well. Let me see. Not needles. <laughs> <laughs> we go. I was gonna let you. Man. You have to hear. You want to die on? All right. Rewind. The wrong needle. The wrong needle. Goddamn. Not the wrong. Not this, that needle. The wrong needle. Do your song. This mm -hmm. advice I, I got. Um, grieve how you want to grieve. That's that's what's most important. It don't matter what nobody else say. Um, even though, even though they say. Um, you know, she might have went through more. It's okay that you are going through it and talk about it to somebody. Um, hopefully, you can talk to her about it without her telling you that, throwing in your face about what was more. Because you know yeah, that, that's hard to deal now, with. It might so, be later. But but just understand, you know that that, that talk to somebody about it, express yourselves. Because if not, then won't nobody know how to address it anyway. So. I ain't in mind. But, uh, but yeah, just keep your head up because ain't nothing down there. I ain't in mind. Uh, you might find $20, though. <laughs> I hope so. I be looking for my, I was walking through Walmart the other day, went in there to get two items, and I only got two items, but I sure walked through that whole bitch looking for money. No. I had to go across the whole store. You'll never find it if you're looking for it. I know. <laughs> you got to find it on accident. I know, but I always be looking down the aisle like, mm, Man, I ain't. Like what's that? the most y'all ever found? I found $100 one time. $100 bill. Shit. Mm -hmm. I never find a lot. In the parking lot. I forgot where it was. Yeah. I was working at a store when I started to smoke a cigarette. So while it in the parking lot, <laughs> like, hmm, I should turn this in. I work here. Look, it's like it's a couple of dollars. I wasn't gonna take no money. I opened it like, oh, <laughs> it's like six hundred dollars in here. Oh, this is my paycheck. Oh, I right, bet. Took the money out, put the wallet under the counter. Dude came back in there like, you seen it? I ain't nobody. No, ain't nobody got no got new wallet in. <laughs> I'm like in the morning, somebody might have got new. I right. like I want some money. I don't want the money. I just want to. Yeah, I'm sound good too. I don't know those guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Hey. Seven hundred dollars in goddamn New Orleans. Yeah, I was. I wasn't going. To, I was going. Shit. I almost did. No, but yeah, fucking, you, um, that's so, different. No, nah, that's I different. I found you, it though. No, you you, you told that you told it. that a couple times. Look. Uh, 256-788-7339 Ask it. the smokers at gmail.com <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, share Ear Vision Studios Off-White Mike The Reverend Kato Jackson yeah. Misha in the building Bob Jaquez Don't forget uh, Cinnamon is not sweet not. If she know all the lyrics to the Dope Boy songs Because all she did was ride around with Dope Boys dope, The whole time she was You know how she be fucking Every like that There's a reason, goddamn <laughs> Um Pull your pockets out and flip them printed shirts inside out when you iron it. Otherwise, just get you a steamer, goddamn, and make steamer. everything Steamers a lot simpler. Um, <laughs> I got one more. What's the other one? Don't worry about it. Let's go, Kate. Fuck it, then. Um, smoke a blunt with your mama. Mm -hmm. 
It has probably changed one of y'all life, if not both of y'all life. I thought I had to pick her up from that accident the other day, and I sure was finna spoil. I was finna light my blunt in the car. I was finna light my blunt in the car. Throw the windows up tight. Turn the child safe to lock. She ain't no. I was finna ride home with the weed. She might want to change one of y'all life. I swear to God. After about five minutes, she might want to be like, let me hit that goddamn line. I ain't get in town quick enough. That's right. Smoke a blunt with your mama. Keep going. Most people, they took a poll. Yeah. They said most people who purchase drugs. You got to be well read. Know an average mm -hmm. five to six drug dealers. They yeah. said, um, but most people got a favorite one. And somehow, I don't know how the fuck the statistics in the universe. Or how they figured it out with your algorithms and the, with your phone. And they figured it out. Though. But somehow, the most favorite drug dealers. I'll get a disability they check. Disability. Every last one of them motherfuckers. All of them. If you a favorite there's nothing drug wrong dealer, with it. don't judge the them. Nigga, don't you get a shit. I wish don't I could them. get one. It, the thing no, is no, that no. sometimes it don't come in they name, but... No, it, this one in yeah. they name. No, nah, it's a couple of them. They this grandma, one in they, they real still, name. No, nah, they still they grandma. And they go, they be like, I got to cash my grandma check. Oh, well, they, really, they supposed to get one. They make yeah, the favorite no. ones. Them ain't the favorite ones because oh, they I still live with their grandma. No, they don't live with her. Oh, I had one. Was that your favorite one? Yeah, for a while. Oh, shit. It was. Oh, he had some you got a favorite drug dealer. No, nah, that was some. That was some <laughs> oh, hey, shit. he had what was needed, goddamn. I'm oh, telling you, shit. boy. What was that? Uh, Where's that by A&M? What's the, what's the neighborhood the back up? Heights. Home? Yeah. Yeah. No, you okay. know I'm right. You know I'm not yeah, lying. No, I guess, <laughs> I guess they, might, they might produce some favorites. They might produce some favorites. Um, <laughs> when you be out, it be like it's holiday season. It is. People be out and shit. You got your holiday sweaters too. Traffic. Listen. They don't do it in traffic. Listen, <laughs> traffic gonna be bad. <laughs> if I pull up next to the red light, my tent too dark for it. Don't worry. And you and your girl in the car next to me, yeah. or whatever side. I'm pointing to you like I don't yeah, but you was just No, nah, I would think about a car over yeah, there. I ain't uh, talking yeah, about me, y'all. Yeah. We were probably in the car together yeah, anyway. You was, yeah. And um God. your bitch look over at me in the car. And I could see that bitch teeth. Yeah. Like kind of I couldn't at first when she turned and then She saw teeth. me and, and like and then slowly it was gradual. Yeah. Like that's two teeth, that's four, six, six eight. Bitch, is that thirty two? <laughs> like that ain't even Alright, alright, um, Tap your bitch on the shoulder. Turn the music down, whatever y'all listen yeah. to. It's probably in her fucking uh, um, USB or whatever, her Bluetooth. Because you on her Spotify. Turn that shit down. Probably Damn. so, probably so. Both. Turn that shit down. Um, you definitely tap need to on tell her the that. shoulder. You definitely Say, need to hey, tell her. Say, hey, excuse me, bitch. Um, Pardon you me. you quit smiling at him, goddamn it? Quit smiling. Please. Don't. Pretty, pretty, please. Don't do it. But don't do nothing stupid. Just like, tell your don't, bitch Don't get out the car and Be like Hey nigga Why my bitch smiling at you I might feel played Oh and Shit If I'm, I'm gonna give you any advice It's gonna be the same advice Don't look like a lesbian yeah. Riding around with your bitch Smiling at me I'm a motherfucking take And if I feel played No matter what the situation <laughs> Not no matter nah, what But in most but of them If you feel played You gotta Then shit um, You might have to Don't even have to Pop the trunk don't. Like prepare to feel played all the time, <laughs> and That's once hard. the time comes and you feel played, what you do? Don't let your windows down and stick your hand out the window. Get out the car into the open air. Feel the put breeze in, park. in your hair. Please put the car. Put it in park. Put it, put it in. Feel the in breeze park. in your air and air this bitch out. All the way out. Air this bitch out. Everything moving around here when you finish air this bitch out. Air this should bitch not be out. moving no more. Air this bitch out. Y'all don't want All nothing but gun smoke left before you leave. Put it back and drive. Everything Get still. back in the car. Put it back and drive. You Get the fuck out of there. Got you got you better go. Everything still. You better go. You better go, though. You better, <laughs> you better go. go. Cause they coming. They, they what, what they gonna way. sound like? Tell them what they, they say. Like the they yeah, on the way. They on the way. You better get. You shouldn't have <laughs> aired this bitch out. Don't listen to me, guys. <laughs> yeah. This ain't ready no ready. This horrible advice, guys. I almost said this horrible advice. <laughs> Mike, what you got? Um, if if you out there and you uh, beating up senior citizens, oh yeah, especially if they uh, famous senior I citizens, probably want to get you a, a lawyer and retainer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. hell yeah, oh yeah, elder abuse. 
You got anything to leave the people with? Uh, you don't have to have it. It's do all right. I? No, I don't think I have nothing. I have nothing. No. Smoke a minute podcast. Episode 110. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining us. And we'll be back again. Boars, bitch, peace. <laughs>